श्री महाराज की जय नित लीला कृष्ण उष्ण पाद स्त्रोत्र सत श्री श्रीमद भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी महाराज की जय नित लीला कृष्ण उष्ण पाद स्त्रोत्र सत श्री श्रीमद भक्ति प्रज्ञान के शिव श्री महाराज की जय नित लीला कृष्ण उष्ण पाद स्त्रोत्र सत श्री श्रीमद भक्ति भक्ति रक्षक श्री राम महाराज की जय नित लीला कृष्ण उष्ण पाद स्त्रोत्र सत श्री श्रीमद भक्ति वैभवपुरी गुस्से महाराज की जय नित लीला कृष्ण उष्ण पाद स्त्रोत्र सत श्री श्रीमद भक्ति प्रमोद पुरी गुस्से महाराज की जय नित लीला कृष्ण उष्ण पाद स्त्रोत्र सत श्री श्रीमद भक्ति जीवन जनादन महाराज की जय नित लीला कृष्ण उष्ण पाद स्त्रोत्र सत श्री श्रीमद भक्ति कमल गोविंद महाराज की जय नित लीला कृष्ण उष्ण पाद स्त्रोत्र सत श्री श्रीमद भक्ति वेदांत गुर गोविंद स्वामी महाराज की जय नित लीला कृष्ण उष्ण पाद स्त्रोत्र सत श्री श्रीमद भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर को पाठ की जाए शिला भक्ति मनोहर ठाकुर की जाए शिला गौर की शोर दास बाबजी महाराज की जाए श्री जगन्नाथ दास बाबजी महाराज की जाए श्रीराम श्रीनिवास श्यामानंद प्रभु चाय की जाए श्री रूप सनातन भट्ट गुरुनाथ श्री जीव गोपाल भट्ट दास गुरुनाथ सगु स्वामी की जाए प्रेम सको श्री कृष्ण चैतन प्रभु नित्यानंद शेर बेटा अग्रह शिवा श्री गौर भक्तविंद की जाए शांत वीर मायपुर श्रीमत वीर कोलगरी जानु वीर मोदाधुर्वीर रूद्र वीर मोक श्री नवदीप धाम की जाए वृंदावन धाम की जाए श्री श्याम कुंडान को यमुना गंगा तुलसी भक्ति देवी की जाए श्री गिरिराज गोवर्धन महाराज की जाए नरसिंह भगवान की जाए भक्त वाला श्री प्रहलाद महाराज की जाए चार संप्रदाय की जाए अनंत को थी वैष्णवृंद की जाए समागत भक्त वृंद की जाए श्री श्री गौ प्रेमानंदे हरी हरी गो um so today i would like to sing gorange raduti pada vashana utas thakur um page 74 in our um uh small song books <clears throat> page 74 gorange raduti pada gorange raduti pada jhadhana sampada gorangira duti pada jhadhana sampada se jhane bhakati rasa sara se jhane bhakati Gorangera Madhurila Jagane Praveshira Gorangera Madhurila Jagane Praveshira Go down. 
sangera sangi gane nitya sidha kori mane gaurangera sangi gane nitya sidha kori mane sejaya prajendra sata pasha sejaya prajendra sata pasha shri gauramandala bhumi je bhajane chinta जाने भकती रससारा से जाने भकती रससारा गौरांगे राम धुलीला जगत कन प्रवेशिला गौरांगे राम धुलीला जगत कन प्रवेशिला रीदा निरमल भेलोता रीदा निरमल भेलोता हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे गौरा हे 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 निताय हे निताय हे निताय हे निताय हे जय राधे जय कृष्णा जय राधे जय कृष्णा जय ठाकुर नरोतम दास ठाकुर नरोतम दास नरोतम दास ठाकुर नरोतम दास जय 
गुरु देवा जय गुरु देवा गुरु देवा जय गुरु देवा निताय गौरा हरि बोल हरि बोल हरि बोल निताय गौरा हरि बोल निताय गौरा हरि बोल हरि बोल हरि बोल निताय गौरा हरि बोल गौर प्रेमानंदे हरि हरि बो Thank you. Nalini, beautiful. I don't, I don't think I've ever asked this before, but would you mind reading the translation? Um, sure. Um, so that person for whom the two lotus feet of Sri Goranga are his wealth and property knows the essence of Bhakti Ras. That person for whom the sweet pastimes of Goranga have entered the ears is pure in heart. Within one who takes Goranga's holy names, Prem arises. I, I heartily glorify such a person to one whose eyes stream tears in appreciation of Goranga's transcendental qualities. The divine couple's eternal pastimes become manifest. Such a person is qualified for bhakti. One who uh, reveres Goranga's personal associates as eternally perfected souls goes to the transcendental abode of Virjendra Sutta, the son of the king of Raj. A one who knows the land of Shigora Mandal to be a spiritual touchstone achieves residence in the land of Raj. But one who dives into the waves of the ocean of Gora Prem becomes a confidential associate of Sri Sri Radha Madhav. Whether a person lives in his home as a householder or in the forest as a renunciate, if he exclaims, Ha Goranga, Narottam Das Thakur begs for his association. Beautiful. So, um, so Julian Yatra, yeah, go on. Sorry, go on. Yeah, and no, I'm saying um, Julian Yatra is, is coming up, I think, on the 18th. So, yes. um, is that yeah, why you I chose wanted, it? Yeah, I wanted to sing this song, uh, um, you know, for, for Mahaprabhu. Um, uh, so, yeah, because this song is. Um, you know, the, the, the last verse is saying, one who dives into the waves of the ocean of Gora Prem becomes a confidential associate of Shish, Shishirada Madhav. So without the mercy of Mahaprabhu, you know, we cannot attain um, the mercy of uh, the, the, the divine also. So I was singing this song to prepare for the Julian, for Julian Yatra. We will be singing lots of, perhaps lots of Radha Krishna bhajans, so, yeah. Are you singing on the... Um... On the Tirubhava festival, the Zoom festival. Yes, yes, right. on the 18th, on the 19th. I think. Are you going to sing this? No, I will sing probably um, some some Radha Krishna songs. <clears throat> yeah, uh, some from Rupa Goswami also. Beautiful, wonderful. Yeah. Uh, do you want me to buzz you at the end, or are you busy later for the? Uh, um, the I think I'll be available. Yeah, yeah. Please okay. let me know. I'll buzz you when we get the fourth speaker on. Thank you. Okay, Aribo. Thank you. Lancha kalpa turbis cha, kripa sindhu eva cha, pati tanam havinabhyo, vaishnavabhyo namamaha, om gyan tiramandasya gyanjana salakaya, chakshur militam yana tashmeshi guru enamaha, krinada pi sonichana tarora pi sahishnura, Amani Namana Dina, Kithni Sadahari, Bacha Vigam and Shakrota Vigam, Jiva Vigam, Udura Pasta Vigam, Etam Vigam Yobisha Heta Dira, Salva Matuvam Privim Sasasyat, Katenu Kampam Susamik Shamano, Buntana Vitma Kitam Vipa Kam, Hit Grat Bapu Bividam Namaste, Jiva Yomukti Sadaya Bak. Anya balasata sunyam gyan tamadiyana vritam anu kalenya krishnu shilanam bhakti utama jai shi krishna chaitanya prabhu nichananda shi advaita gadacha shivasari gora bhakti vrinda hare krishna hare krishna 
कृष्ण कृष्ण हरि हरि हरे राम हरि राम 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 हरि हरि I pay my obeisances to my most merciful Sri Gurudev, Sri Bhakti Vedanta Narayana Goswami Maharaj, to Sri Prabhupada, to the entire Parampara, to Rupa Goswami, to Nityananda Prabhu, to Mahaprabhu, to Radha and Krishna, Sri Sri Radha and Krishna. I pay my obeisances to all the assembled devotees and all the devotees who will be watching this through the recordings. Well, good afternoon, uh, or good morning, or good evening, wherever you are on the planet, my dear brothers and sisters. It's a beautiful day today. It's Sunday, and um, it was very nice that uh, Nalini Didi sung us that song because we've not we've only got three days until the start of the Shirupa Goswami Tirabhav festival. This is a, a very wonderful time of our year because. Just in the same way, you could say that Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, without him, there would have been no access to this most highest notion of intimate divine love, Manjari Bhav. But he only wrote eight verses in the Shishashtakam. So if it wasn't for Rupa Goswami and his incredible opus, his literature, his expansive literature, that not, not only was, not only is so volu voluminous, but is also so deep and so thick and rich um, in spreading and helping us understand and access the heart of Mahaprabhu. So this festival um, really symbolizes the essence of our Srila Gurudev. Srila Bhaktivedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj uh, is so close to Rupa Goswami, so close to Rupa Manjari in the spiritual transcendental world. And he explains that um, our life is really of no consequence unless we are measuring ourselves the degree to which we're following Rupa Goswami as Rupa Nugas. So this week we'll, we're holding a festival on Zoom. Uh, roughly speaking, it's, it was originally 10 to 1 UK time and 6 to 9 UK time in the evening. But such has been the enthusiasm of the devotees and the wonderful speakers that it's going to be more like 9 in the morning till 2 in the afternoon and 5 in the afternoon until 10 in the evening. So uh, 43 speakers in, in total. And the subject matters are just completely relishable. Um, I'll be doing some MCing. We've got a whole MC team, but I can say one thing. I'm going to be attending every single class because um, by the end of this uh, conference, um, I'm very much hoping my relationship with Rupa Goswami will be thicker than it is. And I hope the same for everybody here. So and. Details have already been promoted, uh, promotions going out every other day. So watch out for those. And also take a look at the schedule because the starting times are slightly different each day, um, depending on how many speakers we have. So today we are traveling. We're going to start in Brisbane in Australia. Um, and then we're going to go over to Russia. And then we're going to head west to America. So we're covering three continents today. We're going to be going over to Shriman Achintya Gorapabu. To, to start off with, and then we're going to go to Russia to Shiman Mahabala Prabhu and uh, Shimati uh, Sita Didi. And then we'll end up in uh, America with Shiman Pankaj Prabhu. So a very tasty, wonderful four course meal today, four course meal of Russ. Um, but as you know, I like to measure where we are in our 64 Gurudev memories. We're going right up until Gurudev's appearance day in 2022. And we're doing 64 of these wonderful glorifications. And we're on number 45 now. 45, it sounds like, you know, proper, we're properly middle-aged now. And uh, if this was a 24-hour clock, uh, we would be at, by the end of today's session, at 4.53 p.m. And as ever, I've done my calculations by the day of Brahma. And we'll be on the 10th Manu, the 60th Chattu Yuga, in Satya Yuga, 540,000 years in. And for a little extra spice for you geeks out there, we're just about to pass from the Manu known as Brahma Savami Manu to next week we'll be in Dhamma Savami Manu. So that's an extra bit of little geek knowledge there. Without further ado, I'm going to invite our first speaker, Sriman Achincha Gora Prabhu, uh, who is uh, calling in from Brisbane, which is a city I know 
not that well, but I visited a very beautiful part of the world, Prabhu. And um, our beloved God brother, he met the devotees this gone in the late 70s. Um, and he came to Gurudev in 1998 and didn't hang around. Uh, he took Harinam and Diksha that very same year um, and um, very auspiciously took Harinam and Diksha from, uh, from Gurudev. And uh, he's hosted many uh, preachers um, in Australia, New Zealand, and Fiji, uh, and has also arranged for much book distribution to the same um, region of the world. So, Prabhu, we're very excited to hear your offering. Uh, it's a family gathering, so please relax and be inspired. And we are greatly uh, and warmly welcoming you to our uh, Guru Dave memories today. Thanks for tuning in. Harry Ball. Thank you very much, Prabhu. Hopefully, you can hear me. Very so, well, actually. Very well. So, oh my Gyana Timirandasya, Gyana Jana Salakaya. Takshamitayena Tasme, Shri Guru Devan, Shri Guru Gora Chandai Radhika Tadale, Krishna Krishna Bhakta, Tada Bhakta, Namo Namaha. So, first, I'd like to offer my unlimited ways to lotus to my group, Pad Padma, Nitalila Pesha, Mishapad Bhakant, and Narayan Goswami Maharaj, on the lotus feet of Srila Nitalila Bhakti Vigyam Bharati Goswami Maharaj, the Rupa Nuga Guru Varga, and all the Vaishnavas and Vaishnavas that are present and also. So I'm very grateful to get this opportunity to speak something about Srila Gurudev's qualities and it gives at least for me, forces me to think about Gurudev's qualities, so at least to thank you very much for my own purification. So thank you very much for that. So I was lucky, I mean, I was born in Fiji. So I was, I mean, I was fortunate. So where, where we stayed was we close to his temple. So while I was not a devotee, I had opportunities to get good, get some good impressions of being in Iskon, going to Sunday programs, following Ekadasi, following the festival of Jan, Janmashtami, doing offering deep limb, doing karti and so forth. So I had these good impressions of I mean, at least some some scars came. So later, I mean, I did my education, went to went to Australia and New Zealand, did my education, came back back to Fiji. So when I was so in 1998. And with, with the help of Jagannath Prabhu, his brother Kanti Prabhu invited Guru Dev to Fiji in early 1998. So we were neighbors to Kanti Prabhu, so that we were lucky that we could at that time invited us to come meet Guru Dev. So we got very attracted to his Harikata. And then, and then with the encouragement of Jagannath Prabhu, he told us that he is non different from Swami Maharshila Prabhupada. And not to make the same mistake that he did, not take initiation even if you get opportunities. So encourage that a lot. So by you know we got attracted, and while we're not following the four regulatory principles, Rude was very very merciful. And he said, "No, he didn't look at any of our bad qualities. You know, he just said, I've, I've, come, I've come with a heavy load. So I don't, I'm not sure if I come back to Fiji or not. So I like to leave all my load here. So he said, okay, I'll give you Harinam. So whatever you done yesterday, whatever I done till yesterday, give it up. And then, you know, so he's really so compassionate and not, not looking at any of our bad qualities. Not even, we did not have any good qualities, but just, just, just wanted one thing, just to be sincere to him. So he very mercifully gave us Harinam and Gopal Mantra. So at the time he told us that, please at least chant eight rounds. So then, Someone mentioned that you know Iskon might complain that they might criticize you saying that at least we are doing 16 rounds. But then Gurudev said, no, my disciples will be chanting 64 rounds. So then you know Gurudev gave it impression that at least in some stage of your life to chant 64 rounds. So then he stayed, I think, for mainly, I think he stayed for only six, seven days. But then he later he left. So then, but I was searching with another devotees. We were encouraged to come for Kartik at the same year. So, by, so, so I never been to India before that. So, so I came to Kartik and with my, with my mother as well. So we just came. And so we came to Kartik. So then at the time we grew up, even without asking, Guru Devna you know, gave me Diksha. So very merciful, you know, he did not even he did not even say what to what, how many rounds are you chanting? I mean what what he did not take an examination like different societies do, you know, take exam, but he was very merciful, gave us. So over there, by some, we could see his qualities. So he was so much involved 
that he wanted us to do parikramas properly. Like he had so much faith in the words of Narad Muni that when he got the mercy, when he got a boon from Krishna, that whoever came to Vraj, listening, going to different places and listening to getting and listening, getting a mercy from the dust, that surely you get Krishna Prem. So very nicely, you know, he could have gave that enthusiasm to come to Kartik early after early every year. So by that mercy, then so you know we got that impressions of going coming to Kartik, what is the goal of life? Then later, he and then we we're fortunate in after Kartik in early 99, he came to Fiji again. And this time he stayed for almost a month in Fiji. So we had, we had, we had more chance to associate with him. You know, see his, just not his harikata, but also his personal practices that he did, you know. So we were, you know, I mean, also, I mean, that time plus different times as well, we noticed that, you know, he was always engaged in doing something, whether it's chanting, giving classes or reading. And also, you know, so merciful that he did not want to inconvenience anyone. But whenever he went, he just won affection of the people, local people. I remember one time he has given me a class in a place called Lambasi, it's a different island in Fiji. So it says give him a place and giving Harikata for four, four or five days he gave Harikata there. So in the, in the end of that, in the end of that week, the devotees and the local people came and gave him some money. And then Gurudev, then because that, 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 that temple is an, it was an old temple, it's almost kind of worn down. So then Gurudev actually gave the money back to the management and asked them to fix up the place. So, so and then the management said, and this, actually this is the first sadhu that came and gave us money back to us for us, our society. You know? So Gurudev, you know, it was very easily, his actions, you could see that how he pleased, you know, he just pleased everyone. You know? He knew how to win their hearts. And also by the sweet Harikata, you know, the, the Siddhanta he gave spoke, especially when he, he visited a couple of times to his temple. And in the main topic was speaking about what did Mahaprabhu actually came to give, not just Nam Sankirtan, actually what did his three desires to relish, and also what he wanted to give to everyone, this Rupanuga, the, the mode of Rupa, the worship of Rupanugas. So, you know, very nicely spoke about that. So then we are quite lucky in the Beanies Association that impressions also came to us. And then, then later also, then, then we could see you know, how he was affectionate to everyone, what he came to give to everyone. I remember one time in later in, later in I think 2005, some, some devotees from Ishkon came and he came and told Guru there, yes, you know, please, that if we, want, we want to come and see you, but Ishkon actually is not, I mean, he's trying to stop us coming to you. Then Gurudev said, yes, actually, no. Actually, I don't want to make disciples. I'm not even keen to take money. Only thing I want to do is give Harikata. So that was his mode, just to speak Harikata, make, make people understand what is the goal of life. You know, why, why, do, why have we come? And then, you know, even like, you know, even when he gave Diksha, you know, it was one time, I think Sipa Damodamaj asked him, that even some people are not qualified to take, like you are giving diksha, that right? some people are not qualified to give diksha. Then Gurudev said that, you know, there are two types of devotees, one who is qualified to take diksha and one who I'm giving diksha to, to make them qualified. So it's always that merciful that, you know, he did, he did not, he just being so compassionate to others that, you know, whatever, whenever he came, whoever came to him, showed his mercy, being generous to them, that, you know, he was never inconvenienced anyone. So then later, then also something like I was from some of the instruction that Gurudev gave, especially during, I mean, especially from the beginning. Of, um, so one of the instructions, first instruction he gave was always accept that was favor to bhakti and reject that was not favor to bhakti. Also, give practical examples like one time in, in, when he's living Fiji you know, in, in the airport, he has mentioned that just like a shopkeeper always counts the money at the end of the day. Similarly, like, you know, you should always remember how much rounds you're chanting so that in the end of the day, you should know that whether you're increasing your rounds or not. So you always emphasize on chanting your rounds. Following rules and regulations, you know, we saw whenever Guru Devon is so attentively doing it, tulsi, putting Tulsi, um, tulsi Tilak 
also the Tulsi Parikraman of Rajanath Prabhu used to access, you know, whenever to bring the Tulsi upstairs to his room, so the Gurudev could do his Tulsi Parikrama. So he could see that how attentive he was to different items, all this punctuality also. And then also one time he went to a devotee's a, a, a local people's place and the daughters were getting married. So he gave them nice instruction about marriage. You know, he gave them four instructions. He said, no, live an honest life. Uh, don't get, don't divorce. Because also in marriage, there will also be problems. So don't, whenever, you, whenever you're getting problems, always take a, take a help from your parents. And also daily chant the Lord's name. So you give practical examples as well. So very nicely did that, you know. So, and also, and I remember one time, it was in 2008, and Gurudev actually became very sick and he was all hospitalized. So, I, so because, so one, at that time, Shripad Madhavan had asked me if I could take some time off from work, so at least I could drive devotees going to, her, going to the hospital and so forth. So then when I told Gurudev, I'll be taking the next, I'll be taking a sick leave, the Gurudev said, no, we can, we can manage. You know, you don't, you don't need to give up your work and just spend time with me. You know? So in that way, you know, it's very quite practical. You did not want to inconvenience me. So then, so all these activities, you could see that how much he was so merciful to others. And then also in terms of the teachings he gave us, you know, so much emphasis he gave us of why are we here? What is the reason? You know, what is the mission of Mahaprabhu? What is teachings of, especially he spent a lot of time also giving the teachings of Sanatana Goswami Pad, the different types of devotees, starting from Prahlad Maharaj, starting and then going to Hanuman, now is Amrish Maharaj, Hanuman, Udav, and so the Pandas and Udav, so, and then the, later the Gauris of the Gopis. Always not finished, whenever he spoke Harikata, you know, always emphasizing on the what, the, what, what is our goal, you know, what is Radha Dasam, you know, that impression that we want to be made servants of Radha Rani. Also, you know, and like, like, you, like you gave an introduction as well, what is the main teachings of Rupa Goswami? So much of love he had for Rupa Goswami. That is one of his, this was one of his favorite festivals. So much enthusiasm to follow the festival of Rupa Goswami, the qualities of Rupa Goswami. How much enthusiasm he had. He had all these different kinds of scholars coming over and speaking about Sri Rupa Goswami Pad. And the impression he gave us, how important Rupa Goswami Pad was. And especially in the beginning when Gurudev used to go to Western countries, he used to also speak about what is Uttam Bhakti? Almost every class you could hear, you, you hear that. And at least you spoke about what is Uttam Bhakti? What is the goal? And at least, like you said, you know, it is like a barometer of what, what devotional service we are doing. And then, you know, so all these impressions he gave us about what is, what's the reason, why do we want to do Bhakti? What is Rupa Goswami's mission? What is, even, even is to say, why do you make Godiamat? is to follow the, follow the teachings of Rupa Goswami. Why do you understand what Gaudiya is to say? To follow the teachings of Rupa Goswami. So I remember one time in, when I was in Mauritius, and whenever any devotee would come, Shri Guru asked him, you know, what is the relationship to Krishna? What is the relationship to Mother Yashoda? And then, because generally we accept that Krishna is a supreme person to God, but Guru's mood was no. Krishna is the beloved of our Swami Nishimati Radha Rani. And what is the relationship with our mother Yashoda? So you would say that no, just like because to Radha Rani, mother Yashoda is like a mother in law. So therefore, our mood should be similar to that. So giving all these moods that, you know, the real impression that he gave us. So I remember one time that when Gokul Prabhu asked Guru, I mean, in one of the morning walks in Australia, Goku Prabhu from, from Perth asked him, you know, Gurudev, my, my heart is full of lust, and I got so much anathas in me. But you know, how will I go? How will I do bhakti? Then Gurudev asked him that, you know, where do you, if, if Krishna can, gives you vacuum, do you, would you like to go to vacuum? Then Guru then Goku said, no. He said, would you like to go to Ayodhya? He said, no. Would you like to go to Dharaka? He said, no. Where would you like to go? He said, I'd like to stay in Vrindavan. So at least, and then Gurudev at least in this lifetime, you should have this impression that yes, I want to become the maid servant of 
Radharani and also stay in Vrindavan. So we could see that, you know, that it is impression, that the strong impression, not, not to, oh, you can, if you can see that for all the devotees of Guru Dev, you know, this, so even where, wherever you're from, if you, even if you don't understand English, still the impression came, yes, we want to be the maid servant of Radharani. And also Guru Dev, you know, by his own practical example, how to save his own Guru Dev, so much Guru Nishta here, Guru Dev used to say, that, you know, Guru, Guru Nishta is the backbone of bhakti. We could see that, you know, that, you know, so much Guru Nishta here and how he served his Guru there. We have heard all the stories. You know, one time in just 2002 or 2003, and it was in Sydney, the Srila Guru Dev, the, he was leaving Sydney to go to Hawaii and then he would write his books and then he would then go to US. So that, it was one week before Ram Naomi. So then a devotee asked him, oh, Gurudev, why don't you say, say one week, one week, in, why don't you celebrate Ram, Ram Nomi? Because as some devotees would know, Gurudev used to worship Lord Ram as well. So then he said, okay, then he asked Vajanath Prabhu, that can we stay longer in Sydney? Can we stay longer in Sydney? And can we extend our date in Hawaii? The Vajanath Prabhu said, no, we, we don't have, we cannot change the dates there. Then Gurudev said, no, I, I need to go and do my server too my Guru Parampa, my Guru Dev. So then he said, not to go write the books. So, so you can see that, you know, so much enthusiasm to his head to save his Guru Dev. So you know, hopefully, you know, we can hopefully learn something from that. And at least some, 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 some scars can come. So I'd like to end my offering here. One chakal pakaru vesta, kripa sindhya vacha, patita nam pa vinibyo, vaishna vinibyo, namo namo. Wow, you, you, you covered so much, you know you have more time. You, you covered so much ground in such a small amount of time. That was really beautiful. Um, I think what's amazing about these Guru Dave memories, and the reason why we're gonna continue them. So once we get to the end of 64, we're gonna start again, but call it Guru Memories. And we're gonna include all the 15 Mahabhagwats and get disciples from all the Sanghas offering their uh, Pushpanjali to their Guru is that when we worship our Guru, I mean, it's is same and different when we when we listen to someone else glorifying their guru there's a sameness and a difference in terms of our glorification of our guru of course there's a certain intimacy when it's the same personality that is my guru that you're you're off you're worshiping but there's something in it that's like always ever fresh so whatever you're saying about my guru Dave, even though i may have heard it before it's ever fresh in my heart by listening to you which is why personally i get inspired every week by listening to these these um, offerings. And um, I wanted to say that in relation to how you started out, because you said, oh, I'm doing it to purify myself. Yes, you are, you are purifying yourself, but in the process, you're giving me and you're giving everybody else here also a chance, not only purification, but a chance for deeper connection, uh, which is hugely appreciated. Um, and I really loved what you said about how Gurudev looked, actually Gurudev, I'm gonna put, one word I'm going to take from what you said and add an extra word. You said about how Gurudev just looked for our sincerity. And I'm going to say he looked for our sincerity and not necessarily for our qualification externally. Um, I was always conscious of how, with me and with other people, how he kind of saw us. He saw the finished product. He saw what we were going to be like, or he saw who we intrinsically are, even though we don't recognize it ourselves. And he could see that ounce of sincerity. And you only needed a tiny ounce of sincerity and there was something for him to, to utilize, something for him to engage with, um, which, is, which is, I think, the flavor you brought out. Um, and then I really love the way you described how he behaved, how he gave us a, a certain mood in terms of connecting with Prampara and with Rupa, the R line of Rupanugas. And um, it reminds me of something I was, came across the other week, where if you shape, if somebody has a very clear intention in their life, then they know what their attention is going to be focused on. From intention comes attention. And from intention and attention comes flow. Everything flowed. And if you watched how Gurudev ran his daily program, how he did everything, everything was a clear intention, a clear attention, and everything flowed always beautifully. And I think you really encapsulated that in your, in your sharing by explaining how he was so merciful, how everything he did, um, whether it was, you know, when he was traveling, when he was writing his books, everything he did was in such an orderly way, with so much nishra and so much service to his Gurudev, 
And yet at the same time, while it was so disciplined, it also was always guided by love and always guided by mercy and always infused with compassion. So Babu, thank you so much. That was really beautiful. And I hope, um, I hope you're happy with your offering. <laughs> Although I know we're not allowed to say we're happy with our offering, so. <laughs> yeah. You know Akilesh Babu? Yes. Yeah, he's, I was on the phone to him this morning. <laughs> yes. We were having all sorts of Zoom problems this morning. <laughs> okay. Uh, thanks, Prabhu. No, but thanks. Thank you. How far away are you from Akilesh physically? How many miles? Uh, I think it's about 60 kilos. 60 kilos. Okay. Okay. Are you, are you an IT guy? Are you smart on the computers? Yeah, but I did something, yeah, a little bit. Okay. I might, I might, I might plead for your help. <laughs> no worries. No problems. Thanks, bro. Thank you so much. Thanks. Okay. We're going to go from Australia, Brisbane on the East Coast, all the way up to the Northern Territories, across the oceans, to, um, to Asia, to Russia, to this city called Perm in Russia, which is near the Ural Mountains. And interestingly, it's uh, very near the Kam River, K-A-M-A, -A, which I thought was very interesting. And we're going over to a married couple, uh, Sriman Mahabala uh, Dasa, and his good wife, uh, Srimati Sita uh, Dini. Uh, very, very warm welcome to you both. I'm going to introduce you both at the same time, so you can just flow from one to the next. Uh, and then I'll do a, a response at the end of both your presentations. Um, Prabhu came to ISKCON in 1990 and met uh, Shri Gurudev and took uh, Harinam and Diksha in 2005. And his good wife similarly came to ISKCON in 1990 and took uh, Harinam and Diksha in Germany the year later in 2006. So lovely to meet more of my god brothers and god sisters. Very, very warm welcome. And we have the delightful and wonderful Sevak Damayanti, I believe. Are you translating, uh, Didi? Yes, I will translate. I will try. <laughs> you will try. You always do wonderfully. And I must say, Damanti, you might want to close your ears because I'm going to embarrass you. Um, in all the Seva we're doing across the world, we have so many people in our team and so many incredible Seva acts. And one of those incredible Seva acts is Damayanti and her husband, Krishnadas. I mean, seriously, I, I just have to ask, please arrange 15 speakers in Russia. And it's like done the day before I asked. It's amazing with everything detailed, everything correct. Um, I'm just, and then done with such humility. So actually, I am humbled by realizing how lacking in humility I am when I compare myself with Damayanti. So I'm really happy to glorify her, although I'm probably embarrassing her now. So over to you, Didi, and welcome to, uh, to Mahabala and Sita. Hi, I just want to say only by mercy of Gurudev and your mercy to us, thank you so much for engaging us. Nothing from us, from you us. We always big, happy. Give Krishna that's a big hug, okay? After after we finish. <laughs> from me. Hare Krishna. My dandavats, prana. Thank you. <laughs> there you go. There he is. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Prabhu. Вы можете начинать, вас Сита и Диди уже представили, один за другим будем выступать, и я буду стараться вас переводить. Спасибо, спасибо, дорогие. I'm offering my humble obeisances to the lotus feet of my spiritual master, my beloved Nitali Lapravishtam Vishnu Padishto Takrashat Shishimat, Sila Bhakti Vidanta Narayana Gaswami Maharaj. The same, my billions and billions, Nadavat Pranam, to the lotus feet, the feet of my Shiksha Guru, Nitali Lapravishtam Vishnu Padishto Takrashat Shila Bhakti Vidanta Narayana Gaswami Maharaj. And the same, billions and billions, Pranam. Uh, all devotees assembled here. Uh, также моим дорогим Шиман Кришнадасу Гуру и Анти Диди, которые позволили мне участвовать в таком, говорить в таком высоком собрании. Спасибо.
Mahabal Prabhu is selling. Thank you for Yashoda Nandan Prabhu, for Krishna Das Prabhu, that uh, you engage in and give opportunity to speak in such a great uh, assembly today. Mm -hmm. Но только Шила Гурудев, он смог а, собрать эти цветы и сделать а, самых никчемных а, людей, способными а, практиковать бхакти. Uh, we very often would, would you like to speak about that uh, Shila Gurudev bring this uh, a flow of bhakti for the Western countries, also for the Russia. And, uh, Actually, Srila Gurudev, after him, he came and take all these hearts like a flower and make this beautiful garland. This is a deed of our beloved Srila Gurudev. Yes, Mr. Gurudev is called Bolanath. Babushka gave him this name, Bolanath. It is one of the names of the Lord. It means that it is the Lord of just people, just people. Uh, in uh, Shila Gurudev, uh, in uh, his childhood pastime, was named Bolanath, which was, was given his grandmother. And uh, this name means uh, very simple-hearted. Mm -hmm. Name of Shivaji. Mm -hmm. Shila Gurudev uh, came to each of us, and we оценить его милость, мы не в состоянии понять, каким образом его сердце, оно настолько сострадательное, что буквально из канавы, из этой сточной канавы материальной жизни, он, он пришел конкретно за нами, за мной, чтобы достать из этой канавы и дать высшую цель. And, uh, uh, of each and every one to us to uh, take us from this material existence. And uh, my personally, I want to say that Gurudev take me from this darkness and uh, polluted uh, material ocean and uh, give opportunity to me. Mm -hmm. Шила Брабхупад, Бхакистан, Сарасвати, Такур он получил при посвящении Бабаджа Махараджа имя Шива Шабхану и Дайта Дас, тот, кто наиболее дорог Шимати Радхики. Наш Шила Гурдев тоже практикает при Атмане, он очень дорог Шимати Радхики. И он часто сам говорил о том, что он собирал нас подобно цветам, чтобы предложить свои с вами. Mm -hmm. Шила Гурудев говорил про Бхакти Сансарасвати Такур Прабхупада, да? Нет, подобно тому, как и его имя Пратика Приятмана. Как мы слышали о том, что Шила Бхакти Сансарасвати Такур Прабхупад получил имя от Шила Горки Шордас Бабаджи Махараджа Шри Ври Шабхану Дайта Дас, тот, кто... Uh, uh, he received the uh, Shil Bhaksan Saraswati Takur Prabhupada. He received the name from Shila Gora Kishor Das Babaji Maharaj, uh, Shri Vishabhanu Daita Das, which means that he is uh, um, so near and dear to Shimati Radhika. Also, our Shila Gurudev, he is uh, in his Pranama Mantra uh, mention, he Radhikaya Priyatmane, he is also very near and dear to Shimati Radhika. Гурдев, он более милостив, чем Господь, сам Господь Шива, он более милостив. Он воплощение милости и сострадания всей нашей а, Ширу Панука Гуру Барги, потому что таким, как я, это личностям ниже, чем Джагай и Матхай, которые грешат, не хотят бросать, грешить. Шила Гурудев проливает свою милость даже на таких. 
give this mercy, causeless mercy, his compassion, uh, such a fallen person like myself, who is more fallen than Jagai Madhai, how merciful he is. Желание служить жизни в жизнь своему Шили Курудеву. Испоминаю наставление, которое дает мудрец Кави Нава и Гендра Самват, он дает наставление царю Ними о Бхагават Харме. Uh, I wish uh, the desire to serve to my Guru, uh, Guru Pada Padma in life, uh, to another life, life after life. And uh, I, I remember uh, one uh, uh, teaching which was by giving. Uh, повторите меня, пожалуйста. Чье учение? Кавиец Кави, он дает наставление царю Ними о Бхагавате Харме. And uh, the sage of Kavi give instruction to uh, Nimi uh, about Bhagavad Harma. Он объясняет, что человек, который следует Бхагавад Харме, который служит беспрекословно своему духовному учителю, ему его покидает страх, ему ничего не страшно. Он становится бесстрашным. Uh, he is telling that person who is following the Bhagavad Harma became fearless. Mm -hmm. И uh, даже если он будет бежать за закрытыми глазами, uh, такой предавшийся Шри Гуру uh, ученик, он ни разу даже не споткнется, если даже он будет бежать закрытыми глазами. And uh, such, uh, such disciple who is... Uh, um, who surrender to his uh, uh, Guru Varga, his Guru Dev, even if he will run by the, uh, his closed eyes, he is never fell down. My brother, Krishnadas Brabhu, этот принцип, они были бесстрашны в своем служении uh, Шили Курдев. My god brother uh, Shiman Krishna Das Prabhu we discussing him uh, today, yesterday, in many days and I heard from him the story how Sevakas of Gurudev was so fearless when they served to Shila Gurudev. Uh, и, и я вспомнил один стих, как ведет себя uh, истинный Севак, истинный ученик Uh, этот стих звучит так: Шушу шамана чарям садо пасита ни чавет ягья саяса на стране наир на ати дуре кританджали. Uh, тот, кто служит духовному учителю, он смиренно следует за духовным учителем на прогулке. Бодрствует, mm -hmm. когда духовный учитель отдыхает. Uh, and uh, in this case, I remember. Uh, this shloka, which is uh, describing how the Sevaka uh, serving to uh, his uh, guru, his guru Pada Padma, and uh, this also uh, telling that when uh, Sri Guru is resting, the Sevakas, they are not resting at the same time. I immediately remember our dear Shikshya Guru Deva, Aumishnupad Shishimad Shila Bhakti, Виданта Мадава Госвами Махарадж, который он всегда ложился по позже Шила Курдева и вставал раньше Шила Курдева более 30 лет. And uh, reading this verse, I uh, always remember my Шикша Гуру, Шипад uh, Бхакти Виданта Мадава Махарадж, and uh, I always uh, remember how uh, his uh, um going going to sleep after Shila Guru Dev and also waking up before Shila Guru Dev. How serving he is. Да, Мадо Махарадж приезжал к нам домой в Ситы Деви. Я никак никак не мог поймать этот момент. Как же как же встать раньше, чем Мадо Махарадж? 
<смех> и как жалеть. То есть а, все время он бодрствовал. Когда бы я не заглянул к нему, он все время бодрствовал, все время повторял хренам на чем-то. And uh, when Ashilamado uh, Maharaj visited our house, and I always try uh, to be focused, uh, to go to bed uh, after Shila Maharaj and waking up uh, before Shila Maharaj. But I always, uh, when I check him, I saw that he is already waking up and he is chanting the holy names. Always, I, I, I cannot... Uh, Be in this position. Также севаки Шилы Гурудева, Шилы Враджанат, Шимати, Вринда Диди, Бума Диди, они обладают идеальным характером. Они в полной мере реализовали принцип наставления Махапрабху Трината Писа Ничина. И они, они обладают идеальным характером. Они очень сладостные и являются... Таким образом, они отражают качество самого Шри Гуру. And I always also inspired by, uh, by Севакас uh, of Guru Dev, like Шипат Браджанат Прабу, Шимати Вринда Диди, Шимати Ума Диди, how they are uh, very humble, and uh, really I can, I, I see that they, they realized Trinata Pisa Nichina in their life. Все они совершают свой баджан в состоянии очень сильной разлуки со Шилой Гурдевым. And I feel that they are doing their баджан in, in separation mood for Shila Gurudev. Шила Гурудев, он хочет от нас, чтобы мы совершали именно такой баджан, который описывается в этом стихе. Бхакти, йога, бхакти, йога, бхакти, йога, дхана, бхакти, и кришна, нам, смарана, крандана. Повторять это имя именно в состоянии, в состоянии глубокой разлуки со Ши Гуру. And uh, Shiva Gurudev always uh, uh, tell that uh, we have to uh, do our bhajan in this mood, like this shloka, like do your bhajan in separation mood to lotus feet of your Shri Guru. Очень счастлив, что я нахожусь в таком uh, возвыш, высоком общении, и я не могу понять, uh, за что то есть нет никаких моих действий, никаких моих мыслей, никаких моих заслуг, чтобы быть в этом общении. Я очень благодарен всем, всем вайшнавам за то, что они меня не, не, бросали, не бросали в трудные моменты и никогда не бросят и, и помогают мне практиковать сознание Кришны. And I consider myself very fortunate to be in such a great family, such a great uh, association with all Vaishnavas. And uh, they always never forget me, that they support me, helping me, uh, even in a very uh, bad position when I um, so much difficulties. They never leave me and helping me practice uh, Krishna consciousness. Шиман Кришнадас Брабху а, научил, как нужно служить Гуру в соответствии вот с этим стихом Яги Асайса а, Мастханайер. То, что в конце Мадукари, когда ученик собирает Мадукари, он все до рисинки должен отдать своему духовному учителю. Uh, See from Krishna Das Prabhu how we have to serve to Srila Gurudev, even um, to see this verse, which uh, this verse is describing how we have to give every sin what we have to Srila Gurudev, even single, uh, uh, single rice seeds we have to bring to him. Все, что было, как пожертвования на фестивалях, которые организовал Шиман Кришнадас Брабху. Все это было до последней рисинки, предложено стопом Шилы Гурудева. And we seen all donations which was, uh, was bring to Шила Гурудев, uh, which, uh, which service was also give a little to Кришнадас Прабху. Everything was 
uh, was uh, uh, given to Shila Gurudev directly. Everything he received. Это было много много раз на протяжении многих лет в России. And uh, uh, this uh, was very often uh, during many many times in Russia. Эти воспоминания являются сладчайшим и самым ценным сокровищем моей жизни, самыми ценными моими воспоминаниями в моем сердце. And uh, these festivals, uh, which I seen, uh, and this all service also, it is precious impression in my life. Все большое, дорогие преданные. Сита говорит, еще есть время, но я уже хотел бы закончить. I, I, I would like to stop here, but my wife Sita is telling that I have more time, but I think I, I, I will finish. Закончите или еще что-то скажете? Thank you very much. Можно сразу ей передавать вас обоих уже представили. Да давай. Да, вас, дорогие преданные, точно. Но он вечно подарил радость, преданные. Сейчас я могу к тебе так подниматься, как мне нужно, конечно. С нашим старым отходом, понимаешь, что мы рамбрилаем, порушал Магандам, я приношу свои бесчисленные дандават пранамы моему дорогому возлюбленному Шилу Гурдеву, а также всем моим дорогим Шекшагуру и всем старшим преданным всем, которые являются моими вечными благожелателями за также предлагаю выражая свою огромную благодарность и а, поклоны а, еще Дунандни Прабу и его ком, ну, команде преданных, которые а, организовали а, это замечательное всемирное прославление Шилы Гурдева. Um, uh, you all my well wishers and also to Shodanandan Prabhu and his team uh, the, uh, those devotees who create this wonderful program remembering uh, remembrance of Srila Gurudev, Srila Gurudev memories thank you so much for your such a great service это замечательная возможность прославлять Srila Gurudeva возможность помнить о нем, потому что благодаря его ученикам мы можем еще больше погружаться, вспоминая Шилу Гурдева, понятовать о нем, чувствовать его поддержку. Все благодаря Вашнавам. And I think that this is great opportunity, like, like this program, when we hear and uh, remember this from disciple of Srila Gurudev, it's give uh, to us more opportunity to remember him, um, to be close to him. Today, uh... совсем скоро, ну, в ближайшие дни начинается фестивалю Рупы Госвами. Шила Гурадев каждый год устраивал замечательное прославление Рупы Госвами. Прекрасный праздник был. Mm -hmm. 
And uh, very soon is uh, coming such a great festival, the festival the, um, of uh, um, Shila Rupa Goswami Pat, uh, separation for Shila Rupa Goswami Pat Festival. And our beloved Shila Gurudev, he is organized such a great uh, uh, festival for the glory of Shila Rupa Goswami Pat. Mm. Шила Гурудев, как истинный Рупануга, он показал всю славу, раскрыл всю славу Рупа Госвами, раскрыл, что вся наша Гуру Парампара, каждый, каждый духовный учитель нашей Гуру Парампари, это истинный Рупануга. Mm -hmm. Our beloved Shila Gurudev, he gave to the whole world such a great glory of Shila Rupa Goswami Pat. He is also described to us how uh, each and every our uh, uh, Acharya in our Guru Varga, uh, how they are Rupa Nuga Vaishnavas. <sighs> Когда я приехала на первый европейский фестиваль в Германию и там получила уже так очно дикшу, и это был вообще первый, первый раз, когда можно было воочию слушать Шилу Гурдева, видеть его, получать его даршин. Mm -hmm. When I came for first uh, time to meet with Srila Gurudev, like physically meeting with him, it was in uh, Germany festival of Gurudev 2006. Uh, I can meet with him and then that time I get Diksha initiation from him. It was so wonderful for me, like be uh, to see him eyes by eyes. Mm -hmm. В том году mm -hmm. uh, Сибирзея, замечательный фестиваль. Я тогда почувствовала, что Шила Гурудев, uh, как Рупа Госвами объясняет, что uh, где, вот, uh, где uh, находится uh, чистый преданный, там uh, и есть Вриндаван. И вот так же uh, Шила Гурудев, uh, где бы он... Uh, Куда бы он ни приезжал, то Вриндаван а, приходил вместе, проявлялся вместе с ним. Mm -hmm. И в Германии тоже было это ощущение, что вот настроение, а, необычное настроение, вот такого, ну, Шелгурдев а, привнес настроение Враджа. Uh -huh. В 2007, да? Да. Uh -huh. And 2007 also in the festival of Шила Гурдев in Сибирси, uh, I... Uh, feeling myself like Shila Rupa Goswami Pat describing when it's pure devotee, there is a Vrindavan. And I, I really feel like this. When Gurudev used to present, this place was like Vrindavan town. И тогда на этом фестивале я впервые увидела, там было много книг, я впервые увидела uh, только вот издали uh, Гаравани прочарины книга. On that festival I saw for the first time that book. It was only published, just coming. Uh, Гаравани прочарины. Я когда uh, увидела эту книгу, uh, сразу почувствовала, что uh, то есть эта книга описывает uh, в этой книге Шилагурудев раскрывает Настроение Шрила Бакевиданта с вами Прабхупады. Он раскрывает, что Бакевиданта с вами Прабхупады – это истинный Рупанога. Рассказывает в этой книге, что такое Гаурави, что такое настроение Рупы Госвами, кто такие истинные Рупаноги. 
and uh, th uh, to see this book and I just uh, saw in uh, here I feel and how this book is uh, feeling of the mood of uh, uh, Sheila Gurudev opening the mood of uh, relationship with uh, Sheila Bhakti Danta Swami Prabhupada who is he who is uh, Rupanuga Vaishnavas he is uh, uh, um, put all this mood and this such a great book Для меня эта книга, она как квинтэссенция всего учения, как Библия, такая вот основополагающая. Ну, суть учения всех Гаудио Пайшнава, прям вот книга книг. For me this book, uh, like king of all book. Uh, this book for me like a Bible. This book like uh, uh, contain whole essence, all Rupanuga Gaudiya Vaishnavas. И она через эту книгу Шива Гурдев он просто вот как открывает, он как дал вот ключи и открыл вот эту сокровищницу, ну позволил. Как маяк, да, вот осветил, вот показал направление, вот ориентиры, куда, к чему стремиться. Раскрыл вот этот удивительный, невероятный мир Бхакти Гауди Вайшнав, настроение Гауди Вайшнава. Mm -hmm. And in this book, Shila Gurudev enlightened to us this uh, real mood of Gaudiya Vaishnavas. He is uh, illuminate for us this mood of Gaudiya Vaishnavas and give uh, uh, to to real way how we have to follow him. Все это, ну, есть. Урупа Госвами, Пранама Рупа Госвами, Шичитани Манобиштам, Скапитам, что описывается, что Рупа Госвами, он знает сердце Господа Читани, он... Знает как... Желание, исполнять желание. Да, 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 исполнить как исполнить желание Господа Читания. И все это э, справедливо по отношению к Шиле Гурудеву, потому что Шила Гурудев, он знает и сердце Господа Читания, настроение, гос... желание Господа Читания, и желание Рупы Госвами, и знает, как э, донести до нас, как раскрыть и учение э, Господа Читания, и э, настроение Рупы Госвами, учение Рупы Госвами. Like uh, it's saying in um, Pranam Mantra for Srila Rupa Goswami Pad, Shri Chaitanya Mano Bishtham Sthapitam Yana Butale, Svayam Rupa Kadama Yam Dadati Sva Padantikam, that Srila Rupa Goswami Pad exactly knows the heart of Shri Chaitanya Mahop Prabhu, his Mano Bhishtam, his inner desire. Also, our Guru Dev is like that. But our Guru therefore knows the hard desire of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Srila Rupa Goswami Pad. Если бы Шрила Рупа Госвами не пришел в этот мир, в Кали-Югу, кто бы открыл доступ в великую сокровищницу в Раджа Прему всем желающим? Uh, in this bhajan, which was written, Sri Madhva Das, Yankali Rupa uh, Sharira Nadharata, if uh, Srila Rupa Goswami Pat not descend to these words, what was will be given then? Все это справедливо и по отношению к нашему возлюбленному Шри Гуру Деву. Если бы он не пришел в этот мир, в Кали-Югу, Кто бы нам раскрыл эту сокровищницу и в Раджа Премы, и а, сокровищницу а, настроения Рупанунгов, а, причем каждому Шива Гурдев раздавал всем. 
And не also... в своем, достоин или недостоин, давал этот, то mm -hmm. есть это его великая милость. Mm -hmm. And also we can say uh, saying about our Shila Gurudev. If Shila Gurudev not descend mercifully to this world in Kali Yuga and uh, not giving this Vraja Prema, he is give this Vraja Prema to everyone, not consider uh, have qualification uh, or not have qualification. He give to everyone freely. Следующий стих описывает, что подобно лебедю, отделяющему молоко от воды, он отделил одну расу от другой, чтобы можно было по-настоящему насладиться ими. And uh, in, in next verse is telling that like swan, he is uh, taking milk from the water. Uh -huh. И что там он отделяет молоко от воды? Дальше что? Да, чтобы... Uh, чтобы он отделяет расу, расы uh -huh. одну от другой, чтобы uh -huh. he is uh, uh, like a swan, uh, he is um, take uh, take one rasa from other rasa. Uh -huh. uh, и там же Шила Гурудев вот в этой, uh, ну я просто на основе вот книги Гаравани про Чирине, вот в этой книге он тоже uh, очень так вот суть прямо вот он uh, uh, также разделил, прям uh, разъяснил, uh, по, кто, чем отличается рага ноги, рупа ноги, то есть все четко тоже. Uh... And uh, like this verse in uh, this bhajan, we can see like Shila Gurudev describing in this book Gauravani Pracharine uh, all um, gradations, uh, who is rupa nugas uh, and uh, Uh, all the different gradations of all Vaishnavas, Rupa Nuga, uh, Raga Nuga Vaishnavas, he is everything describing pro, to us very clearly. Следующая цитата вот из этого же Баджана. Оставив все, он поселился во Вриндаване, совершал Баджан и писал свои книги о расе. And uh, also the next verse in this bhajan is telling that he is uh, give, give up everything and he is just living in Vrindavan and doing his bhajan. Also, he is writing uh, Bhakti Rasa book, books. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, его глубочайший, uh, то есть непрерывный баджан, uh, все вот, кто uh, получали его дашин, видели это, чувствовали, что uh, Шила Гурдев каждую секунду, каждое мгновение он был погружен именно в баджан служение. И все знают, сколько книг uh, написал Шила Гурдев, именно uh, перевел, труд, переводил, особенно uh, переводил труды uh, Рупы Гасвами. And also our Шила Гурдев is like that. Uh, I um, telling in the beginning that Шила Гурдев, where is, was Шила Гурдев? There was in Vrindavan. He is always uh, live in Vrindavan by his heart. And also, he gives uh, to us so, such many books, so many books he described into uh, writing to us, and especially he is uh, giving in uh, his book uh, the teaching of Srila Rupa Goswami Pad. He is giving this uh, gift to us. Еще один стих из этой же из этого же баджана Янкали Рупа. Переводится как «Кто смог бы понять лилы Кришны в Матхуре и Вриндаване? Как узнали бы мы о сладостных лилах во Враджи и любви Радхи Матхове?» And also the next verse from this bhajan uh, is telling that who can understand the lilas of Shri Krishna in Madhura and Vrindavan? Who can explain to this, such a, this lilas to us? Тем же образом Шила Гурудев, то есть все это справедливо и по отношению к нашему Шилу Гурудеву. 
Без него, без его катхи мы, то есть он раскрывал нам лилы Кришны и в Матхуре, и во Вриндаване. Именно от него мы узнали так много сладостных лил Радхи и Кришны, узнали о особенном настроении жителей Враджа. Mm -hmm. And also our Shila Guru Deva is like that. He is gives so much wonderful, elevated, sweetest Harikatha, describing the lilas of Sri Krishna in Madhura and Vrindavan and mood of Rajavasi. Именно uh, от Шила Гуру Дева мы узнали о uh, исключительном настроении uh, Рупа Госвами и его последователей. А, о величии а, служения Шримати Радхики, о ее а, величайшей исключительной славе. Mm -hmm. From Shila Gurudev we became to know about mood of Shila Rupa Goswami Pat and his followers, also about uh, greatest uh, Uh, serving uh, which is uh, doing Shimati Radhika about Shimati Radhika glory. Uh, далее uh, Мадхвадас uh, uh, поет по его милости теперь каждый может изведать это неземное блаженство и прославить его. Вручивши себя Господу Мадхвадас молится о том, чтобы всегда помнить о величии Шри Рупы. And the, the next verse, Madhava Das is singing, uh, by his uh, mercy, я забыла, что он, скажи еще раз. Это блаженство. By his mercy, we can uh, uh, taste, this is uh, such a great, uh, uh, such a great nectar, we can touch such a great nectar. Mm -hmm. И прославлять, ну, тут говорится, что прославлять руку ah. Господи. Uh -huh. uh -huh. And uh, I, I pray that uh, to glorify Shila Rupa Goswami Pat always. Uh -huh. Всегда помнить о... Uh, And always uh, remember uh, him. Uh -huh. Потом таким образом, и все это справедливо к Шиле Гуру Деву, что только по милости Шила Гуру Дева мы можем вообще можно почувствовать, что такое настоящее счастье. Только по милости Шигуру мы можем, только он дает нам возможность прославлять его. And uh, also for Shila Guru Dev is like that. By only by mercy of Shila Guru Dev, we really can test the real happiness. And после настоящего счастья что ты сказала? Только по мил. Да, Shila Guru Dev дает нам возможность прославлять. And uh, also Shila Guru Dev give opportunity to us uh, to glorify him. И а, а, только по милости а, Шил Гурдева мы а, можем а, помнить о его величии. То есть получается, что а, как это объяснить? Only by his mercy we can uh, remember him and uh, remember how he is exalted Vaishnava. Only by his mercy. чтобы прославить духовного учителя, все равно нужна его милость, его благословение. That glorify your spiritual master, we also need his mercy, his blessings. Without the, uh, his mercy, his blessing, it, this is impossible to glorify him. Да, я хотела сказать, что да, благословение по милости Шилы Гуру Дева. 
и по благословению а, его дорогих а, Сейчас милостью а, преданных мы можем получить вот, милость нашего Гурудева. And also I want to say, by mercy of Shila Gurudev, also uh, his blessings, blessings of his uh, sevakas, his disciples, my dear God brothers, God sisters, I have opportunity to glorify him. Without you, this is impossible. А по милости Шилы Гурдева мы можем понять о славе, получить милость Рупы Госвами. By mercy of our beloved Guru Dev, we uh, can uh, receive mercy of Shila Rupa Goswami Pad. По милости Рупа Госвами мы можем получить милость Господа Читания uh, и Шишерадхи Кришны. And by the mercy of Shila Rupa Goswami Pad, we can receive mercy of Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and divine couple Shishirada and Krishna. Говорил Шила Гурудев очень часто на фестивалях, особенно в России, он говорил, что не пытайтесь запрыгнуть сразу на верхушку дерева, начинайте идти снизу, по стволу вверх, подниматься постепенно. И здесь тот же самый принцип, то есть мы начинаем от милости вашнав до наших духовных братьев, севаков, мы получаем милость уже вышестоящих. And uh, Srila Gurudev very often used to say, especially in Russian festivals, that not try to jump on the top of the tree, try to climb uh, step by step. And uh, also, this is practical to us, uh, how to understand all these things. Uh, we, uh, first, we have to uh, be respectful to um, All disciples and followers of Srila Gurudev, his sevakas, slowly, by slowly, we can reach all mercy from Srila Gurudev. Чем еще знаменателен вот этот баджан, прославляющий руку Госвами, да, вот его, автор его Мадава Дас, и вот еще хотел привести параллель, то есть вот по милости Мадава Даса, мы вот узнали о вот в данном вот баджане о славе Рупы Госвами и также по милости Мадвы Госвами Махараджа мы узнали о славе Шивы Гурдева особенно в его Раману Манджари Аштаке Also, I want to say, uh, as this bhajan was uh, um, Yankali Rupa Sharira Nadharata was uh, written by Madhava um, uh, Madhava Das, uh, the same we uh, in the, uh, how he is right this bhajan by this bhajan we became no uh, glory of Shila Rupa Goswami Pad. It's same about Shila Gurudev. I want to say that by the mercy of Shila Madhav Goswami Maharaj, we became to know uh, uh, who is our Shila Gurudev, especially he is right, um, uh, his uh, Ramani Manjari Ashtaka, what the, um, uh, what the, uh, what the um, form uh, Shila Gurudev have in spiritual world. Mm -hmm. И Шила Гурдев, он говорил, что этот, эта аштека, она поможет, размышляя об этой, ну, эта аштека поможет садакам искренним, кто хочет понять Шила Гурдева, его настроение, кто хочет понять вообще настроение. Рупанунгов, то эта аштека, она поможет, очень сильно поможет на этом пути. And this Ramani Manjari Ashtaka will be very helpful to those sadhakas, to the, those devotees who uh, really want to understand the mood of uh, their Guru Dev. And uh, this Ashtaka will uh, uh, give this mood in to the heart of such a devotee. Я очень сильно молюсь, чтобы
чтобы всегда э, находиться э, в обществе вайшнавов, чтобы они всегда давали возможность э, прославлять Шлугу Рудеву, не забывать его, чтобы когда менять настроение, глубокое настроение этой аштаки, настроение... Э, Понять сердце Шилы Гурдеевой, настроение Рупы Гасвами. Mm -hmm. Чтобы and, все это появилось когда-нибудь в сердце. Mm -hmm. And I pray to all the Vaishnavas, all my family, that um, I always be in association, give your blessings, that I always be in uh, um, association with devotees, that I can understand mood of my Gurudev, especially this mood of uh, Shiramani Manjari Ashtaka, that I always... Um, uh, have opportunity to glorify my Guru Dev, to understand. And thank you for your mercy and uh, please give me this opportunity again. Sandra Pranams. You can give me, okay? Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I have to say the um, the uh, Bhakti Yoga sounds pretty good in Russian. But, uh, uh, so, so much Okay, now I can hear. <laughs> yeah, just say to them, uh, Bhakti Yoga sounds really good in Russian. Uh. Еще до Нандан Прабу говорит, что такое ощущение Бхакти Йога в России очень хорошо развивается. A, a, a mm. И мы не понимаем язык, но мы сли, uh, прочувствовали ваши эмоции. Um, both um, Shiman Mahabala uh, Dasa and uh, Shimati Sita Dasi uh, spoke very beautifully and he opened up during his presentation he talked about how fortunate he was to be in have a family of great association and i think that starts with his wife they're very fortunate to have each other in devotional yoga и ваше выступление было такое прекрасное что махабалы прабу и его прекрасной супруги ситы диди я очень благодарен вам что вы оба приняли участие выступали оба And I very much loved uh, his uh, memory of um, <clears throat> how Madhav Maharaj would get up before Gurudev and go to bed after Gurudev. And uh, I could have told him that trying to compete with Madhav Maharaj is, is pretty much an impossible task. То, что вы вспоминали, меня это очень затронуло, как Мадхава Махарадж вставал раньше Гурудева и ложился позже его. Я бы хотела сказать в этой связи, что быть с Мадхава Махараджем вот именно в таком положении, это просто нереальная задача, невозможная для нас. Это Диди, я помню этот прекрасный фестиваль в 2006 году, я сам там присутствовал. And I really liked, uh, I, I re it must be because we're building up to Rupa Goswami's uh, Tirubhav festival, it was very, very beautiful how she uh, not just explained, but evoked and helped us remember how Vrindavan, it felt like Vrindavan, wherever Shri Gurudev is, physically feels like Vrindavan, actually. Even in his unmanifest pastimes, even more when we meditate on Shri Gurudev, then we are in Vrindavan. И мне очень понравилось ваше представление, связанное с днем ухода Шилы Рупы Госвами Пада, и о том, что вы сказали, что там, где Шила Гурудев, там Вриндаван. И это также, когда мы пометуем о Шиле Гурудеве, мы также отправляемся во Вриндаван вместе с ним. And she brought into the foreground how 
we need to um, take the shelter of Srila Gurudev and beg for his mercy so that we can get some taste for the speciality of what Srila Gurudev has come to give us, which is Braj Prem and Rupanuga Bhakti. И мне очень также понравилось про то, как вы сказали, что Шила Гурудев пришел дать нам это Враджа Прему и наполнил этим настроением uh, Враджа наши сердца. So thank you so much. Thank you so much, Prabhu and Didi. Very, very kind. Beautiful, beautiful Pushpanjali. Pushpanjali. Спасибо большое Спасибо за ваши слова. Damanti, I just had some inspiration while I was listening to you translating. I was thinking there are a lot of Russians that don't speak English, right? Yeah, almost. <laughs> yeah, so the Rupa Goswami Tirbao Festival, we have 43 speakers, about 35 hours of Harikata this week. And I've just bought a function within Zoom that allows live translation. Uh -huh. So if you wanted, I mean, it's a lot to ask you to do 43 classes, but, but if, you wanted to, if you wanted to select part of the program, I, we can confer later and do a mini Russian program with live translation, I can set you up. Okay, okay. If it interests you, because your, your translation is very good. But I imagine it's quite exhausting translating, so. Thank you, I, I try, thank you so much. <laughs> But the the thing we've got is live. It's not like one person doesn't repeat and then you answer. They're mm. just talking and then you're talking over them. And mm. it's really, really yeah, good. Uh, it's a great bunch. Uh, anyway, we'll talk about it later. Okay, thank you yeah, so much. Thanks, Damanti. Thank you so much, Sarah. Hari Bol Krishna Das. I can see him in the background. There he is. <laughs> He's here <laughs> nearby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see him. I can see his effulgence. <laughs> so we're now flying from Perm on the Kam River. In the, near the Ural Mountains, we're going west over Moscow, of Eastern Europe, over Holland. We're going to fly over London. I can just hear the Zoom plane go overhead, over the Atlantic, and we're going to Cleveland in Ohio. Is that right? Not yet. Yeah, yeah. And we're going to my good friend Shiman Pankaj Prabhu, uh, who saved me a couple of weeks ago because I had him, I had him down by mistake in this program, <laughs> and I only realized my mistake about 40 minutes before he was due to speak. And because he's very good at improvising, he uh, he came on improvised, and he's back on again now, which is fantastic. So a little in a little introduction for Pankaj, who's uh, uh, a well-known devotee. So you probably know him already. Um, <clears throat> Pankaj is uh, uh, born uh, was fortunate enough to be born in a devotee family, and he came to Iskon in 1999. Uh, helped uh, build the well, very well-known Delhi temple there. Um, he's able to combine a worldly life with a spiritual life. He's got an MBA from Duke's University, and he has a master's in bioinformatics. Um, I can pronounce the word. I've got no idea what that means, but it sounds really good. Um, he came to Gurudev um, and took uh, Harinam and Diksha. Uh, I believe, I, I think in, what, what year was it? Probably 2005. 99. 99. Oh, 99, um, uh, Gurudev. And yeah, yeah. Uh, served Gurudev assiduously. Uh, making devotees, preaching all over India, and now in the United States where he lives. And he um, is a banker in America. So he's one of those people who's able to um, integrate and bridge between the uh, uh, very high spiritual topics and then living a very practical life. So um, he's also a lot of fun uh, to be around and makes Krishna consciousness cr makes Krishna consciousness fun, which I think is important because Krishna is always having fun so I can't imagine Krishna not wanting to uh, us to have fun so with no further ado I hand over to my good friend is your is Yamuna joining us or is um she, uh, she can't she can't join I I tried believe no me. problem give her my said, uh, please forgive me she will definitely join for Tirobhav Abhirbhav but today she's like really um yeah she's she's two more months so oh she's seven months gone okay wow. yeah, yeah. so wow. Okay. So that's fine. That's number two, right? Yeah, yeah, number two. Number two yeah. girl. Is that it? Are you done it too, or is there gonna be more? I don't know. <laughs> we'll save that for another conversation. <laughs> Let's get over number two first. But when when, okay. when it is not live and it's not recorded, yes, I'll I'll talk to you more about that. Definitely. <laughs> All right, bye guys. I'm looking forward to that installment. Over to you, my brother. Happy ball. Well, okay, well, well. Happy ball. Happy ball.
ओम ज्ञान श्रीमदंद ज्ञानंजन शलाख्या चक्षुर्मित तस्म श्री गुरव नम नमो विश्वपदाय कृष्णा पृष्ठा भूतले शिशिमाद्भक्तिवेदात नारायण गोस्वामी नमे श्री कृष्णराकथनेश दक्ष मदार्य मधुरगुनेश युक्त वर्ण वरिण पुरुष महंत नारायण तम शीशा नमा वाचाकलपत्रो भैचा कृपा सिंधु भैचा पति पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवभ्यो नमो नम श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नितनंद श्रियाद्वैत गदध शिव सदी गौरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई फॉर माय दंड प्रणाम कोटि कोटि दंड प्रणाम एट द लोटस फीट ऑफ माय परम राधितम गुरुदेव नित्यलीला कृष्ण विश्व पार्शल भक्ति वेदांत नारायण गोसाई महाराज ऑल्सो एट द लोटस फीट ऑफ माय शिक्षा गुरुदेव नित्यलीला कृष्ण विश्व पार्शल भक्ति वेदांत वामन गोसाई महाराज ऑल्सो एट द लोटस फीट ऑफ माय परम गुरुदेव नित्यलीला कृष्ण विश्व पार्शल भक्ति प्रज्ञान केशव गोसाई महाराज एंड हिज डिवाइन ग्रेस नित्यलीला कृष्ण विश्व पार्शल भक्ति vedan uh, bhakti vedan swami prabhupad also dandu pranam at the lord feet of all the assembled devotees here um dandu pranam to you ishwarananda prabhu <laughs> so um al yeah last time i was talking to you how i uh, actually met gurudev uh, but once i met gurudev i remember like when i uh, went to take initiation from him i was still like in my two minds i was thinking like if I, am i leaving prabhupad am i doing something by by giving up uh, prabhupad so i asked gurudev what is my relationship with prabhupad so Pra- gurudev said prabhupad is my is like my shiksha guru so he is your param gurudev i said okay so so that's my relationship and ever since you know i i started seeing things the way you know uh, like i i started spending a lot of time with gurudev in india especially in mathra i was a lot of time in mathra gurudev will come to delhi a lot and um, and then finally you know i get to spend a lot of time in the west when i moved to houston actually that's where gurudev used to come and uh, and i <laughs> that's the reason why i got my masters in uh, university of texas and i asked them to transfer me to it was in austin but i asked them to transfer me to houston So I can spend time with Gurudev. So those couple of years with Gurudev in Houston was really amazing experience. So I get to see Gurudev in different settings, uh, different places, and so I, I definitely will see that Gurudev uh, will. He used to like speaking in Hindi, by the way. So he used to be a different. Like he'll speak to us in Hindi speakers. He'll speak differently. and have a different like you know joking and different way of expressing himself and uh, and then when it was like more like you know in the western world like he'll speak a lot of english but then at the end he'll say like okay i'm getting too much headache right now so i need to like <laughs> sit down on the side and not speak english anymore and uh, and that's how like you know when I, if we were there or some hindi speaking people were there we'll speak to us and and we'll like you know just uh, he'll he'll his talk about so many um things with us about random things sometime you know uh joke with us so um when i was thinking about preparing this i was thinking about you know krishnadas krishnadas was um like gurudev son and uh, he used to travel with gurudev he was also he used to cook with for gurudev and uh, and gurudev used to love him so much so one thing that i saw everywhere common was this krishnadas like gurudev will speak hari katha he'll be there and and gurudev will just look at him and i know that krishnadas and gurudev never spoke like about what going to be sung and who's going to sing what and what's going to be coming next but he knew exactly what to sing for gurudev to set that mood 
for everybody in the audience. He'll do that, you know. And Gurudev will just tell him and then look at him and he'll like set the mood, like what bhajan needs to come there. And uh, and and he really made Gurudev like laugh, cry. He cooked for Gurudev. And uh, I wish he was here today, but you know, he uh, at a very young age, he, he also left. But he made Gurudev so happy. And uh, so I just was thinking about him as I was going through the whole, you know, and, uh, and, and Gurudev just treated him like a son. He just like, said, you know, just come with me, be with me, never leave me. Uh, but then, you know, in the end, he, he decided to stay in Vrindavan. He got tired of traveling. So, um, it's kind of awkward when you're speaking in front of like no audience. So. <laughs> I can see you. Yeah. Okay. I'm here. I'm here, Pankaj. Don't worry. I'm here. Uh, okay. Okay. You, I'm, so, I'm, I'm totally enrolled. <laughs> so, uh, so I remember, like you know, when uh, when I met, uh, uh, I don't know. So, so how, how can I say, like you know, about the glories of Gurudev? Glories of I have so many things were coming in my mind for past one week. So many things. Like, how do you glorify Gurudev? Where do you start from? Like, do you start from like his devotees, you know, or do you glorify him from uh, from like what he did? I mean, I, all I know is like Gurudev did in 360 degrees, Gurudev did so many things, so many things in every direction. Like there are eight directions. Like, you know, uh, I, I go to this one devotee, Anirudh Prabhu. He says, and uh, Rama, he, he quotes Ramayan and he says, this art disha, you know, there's not, so and, on all the like direction, Gurudev is perfect. He's doing everything in every direction, in every moment, in every second. He is he is Gurudev. He is that personality who is embodiment of that perfection. And we were very fortunate. We are very fortunate. Whenever I go, I go to certain organization, not to compare, but I see other gurus and so-called gurus and, and so many, you know, spiritual, like, you know, leaders. I feel not to criticize them, but in my heart, I feel like I'm so fortunate that I found my guru, and I found my rock, which is solid, which is pure in every way. Not because like my, he's my Gurudev, because Gurudev did not train us like that. Gurudev told us, do not think that your guru is the only one. In fact, like our Gurudev, uh, in my time with Gurudev, he took us to all the different Acharyas. He invited all the Acharyas. In fact, Gurudev was not even an Acharya when I met him. He was actually, uh, he was a general secretary, vice president of uh, Gaudiya Vidhan Samiti. And the Acharya was Ujjabad Vaman Maharaj. And, and he was the younger brother, something similar like Shila Bharati Maharaj, you know, that he was not the Acharya. He was the second in command after Bhakti Vallabh Tirat Maharaj. So if I look at the closest example of any devotee like Gurudev was a little bit like Shila Bharati Maharaj. I saw that, you know. Because of that, you don't have any position. You don't have any post. The only post that you have is the post of love and affection. That's it. And something that you have to give. Something that you have to give is so rich, so enriched that people are mad to take that thing. Right? Because uh, like, you know, in our Gaudiya Mart, you've heard many times, but I've seen it practically. Like, you know, and we see that in the creation also that Brahma creates Vishnu maintains and Rudra, uh, Shiva, he destroyed. So similarly, like, you know, and you know, like Rishonana Prabhu, you're a businessman. Sometimes it's easy to create. It's very difficult to maintain. You know, it's very easy to create a company. It's very easy to create a devotee, but it's very difficult to maintain them. You know, it's very easy to have a kid, you know, <laughs> bring a child in the world is very easy. You know, it's an act of sex, but to maintain them constantly feeding them, keeping them interested, making them perfect in their life for setting them up for the life is the toughest thing. So it was open. Maman Maharaj used to say like, you know, I, he, he used to give initiation, but after initiation, he'll tell all his disciples, you go to Shila Narayan Maharaj for Shiksha. And same thing Shila Prabhupada said when he was leaving, he said, after I leave, I go into Samadhi. He made an announcement. He made a proclamation, you know, that 
everybody should go to Shri Narayan Maharaj for Shiksha. And he begged my Guru there, our Guru there, that please help these people. They need help. They are like monkeys in a nice way, not like in a derogatory way. They are my kids. Like, you know, when we caught up, we, we, you know, when you're, if you're a parent, you'll know, like sometimes you call your kid like a monkey, your bunny, or like munchkin or something, right? Just a nickname. So, so probably like in a loving way, like, look, these guys are like monkey. They might do, you know, they might do all kinds of things. Be very merciful to them regardless. You know, don't even think about, you know, what they're going to be doing. Don't think that they are like doing this or doing that or breaking this or whatever. Do not take offense of anything, right? Like when you go to Vrindavan, a monkey takes your, like, you know, your glasses or takes your beat back. You don't say, oh, monkey took my glasses or he did this to me. No, you say, oh, I shouldn't have worn the glasses, right? Or, <laughs> or one time Kishori Mohan, or I think somebody was wearing like garland. Uh, somebody gave them a garland as he was leaving Gopinath Goryamar. And the monkey jumped and took the garland from his like face like this, right? So the simple method thing is, they will act in a certain way. Don't take offense. You guard yourself. You protect yourself. So Prabhupada gave that in secret code, in a secret message. He said, this is what my disciples are going to be for many years to come. But you help them no matter. And you be the Shiksha Guru. Give me that promise. And Gurudev took that, gave, he gave that promise. And to the end, till the end, he, he kept on serving his that word to Srila Prabhupada. I saw that with my own eyes. I saw with my own eyes how he served the disciple of, uh, you know, Srila Vaman Maharaj. All the disciples of Srila Vaman Maharaj will come to Gurudev and they'll take Shiksha and they never left. Many of them have left. You know, if you look at Vaman Van Maharaj, uh, Madha Maharaj, and, and, you know, there's so many more that you don't even know maybe, you know. So Indian devotees from Vaman Maharaj Mat that they came to Gurudev and they never left. Why they never left? I mean, after my guru, they've left. I'm not going anywhere. I can't stay anywhere. I can't spend even a moment with anybody that much, you know, because that juice that I can get to revive my bhakti is not available for me the way, you know, without any, what do you call, um, um, without any, um, help me out with this word, like, something that, uh, you know, uh, there, there's some kind of condition when somebody gives you like shiksha, like, or somebody, uh, there's a condition or there's a condition of certain things or certain that or this or that. But Gurudev was unconditional, unconditional in his giving of shiksha. There was no, there was no politics. There was no like, okay, he's my disciple. He's Prabhupada disciple. He's this disciple. I know like one thing that I saw uh, being Gurudev disciple, Gurudev will tell me, Hey, stand behind those Prabhupada disciples or stand behind those Vaman Maharaj disciples, stand behind those senior devotees. He'll always like, you know, he never did this, what do you call in Hindi, disciple vad, you know, that disciple group. He never did that as a guru, even when he even made his disciple. And Guru Dev used to sometime given his Harikata, not in the same context, he used to say that one Somebody start giving, any, actually to glorify Pujabad Bhavan Maharaj actually. So when somebody start initiating, then what happens is that they do start losing connection with their God brothers. They start losing connection with other disciples of other gurus. They start losing connection with everybody else. Like when you start your own family, when a guru start their own family, they start lose connection. But Vaman Maharaj never did that. He initiated and he never saw or thought that these are my disciples. This is my disciple. I have to control him. No, he said, go to Srila Narayan Maharaj and take instructions from him. Go to Srila Narayan Maharaj and learn from him. He's going to teach you everything. He will send people to Shila Gurudev and to get chastised, to learn, to get corrected. You know, that was Gurudev. That was our Gurudev. He'll, he'll not stop from correcting somebody if there was a need to. You know, he'll be there. Like he was, he was a police officer in his like earlier life. And, uh, and he never, he never stopped. He never stopped correcting. Like he chastised some of us who were close to him. If you are not close to him, he will not chastise you. But if you, if you are close to him, he will chastise you. He'll guide you. Chastisement means basically he'll discipline you and, and guide you. 
and guide you for many, many years to come. So that was our Guru Deva. So really the glories of the real glory, if you look at like from all the angle is that personality that he will, when he gives his word, he never uh, backs out from what word, whatever word that he gave, you know, and, and that word that he gave to Srila Prabhupada, he never backed out of that. Even till the end, I was there in 2009 when the GBC members came to meet Shri uh, Gurudev and, and, and Govardhan. And, uh, uh, and, then, uh, uh, and then they came, uh, Gurudev said, I never wanted to be a guru. I just wanted you to have disciples. I just wanted you to prosper. But once you guys banned me, I had to, I felt like Krishna was pushing me in a direction that I had to go and, and take care of all the devotees. I had to go, all the devotees were calling me and I had to go and I had to go again and again. Really, I mean, you were there, Yashwadananda Prabhu. He only wanted to go once or twice to the West. He had no desire to go beyond that. But he had to go, he was forced to go because there were so many people that they were suffering. I mean, we calculated, in, uh, in, in, in 2002 or 2003, I did a like, because I like to do some calculations. So I did calculation with Shri uh, Bra Brajnath Prabhu, how, we were in Houston, how many proper disciples are, are following Gurudev regularly? And we saw that there were close to 2,900 proper disciples out of like 5,000 or 6,000 that Prabhupada really initiated around the world. 3,000 or something like that, 2,500, significant number that Gurudev had reached out, helped, and constantly helping. So pretty much like 50% of Prabhupada disciples who had left or were on the verge of leaving or were not able to follow or were following, but they needed some more guidance. Gurudev just kept on giving to them and to those people who came to him. Who, and he also to those people who did not come to him. He also helped them. He also helped them through his books. He also helped them by providing manuscript to some of the gurus who later on went, I won't take names, but they took some manuscripts, they took some knowledge from Gurudev and they wrote their own books, which are very famous now, which people are reading all over uh, the Western world. Uh, but they were all spoken by Gurudev to them. There were all these guidance. I, I, I hear the lectures of GVC members, right? Uh, with Gurudev uh, from 80s to 94, 95. And many times they'll bring a transcript from, of Jab Dharma or something, and they'll do this English, they will read this English translation of that Vidik Madha, Madhura Kandamuni, all those books, right? And the translation will be so off in English, so off that there was like an exact opposite meaning and Gurudev will correct it. Gurudev will correct it, correct it. These are taped conversations and there are those which are not taped at all. So, and so the tapes are all lost. So Gurudev, he established the right concept. This, uh, so now since you're talking what Vitak Dhamada, Ujjwal Neenmani, we're talking about all these books, you know, that are Goswami's books. So in Gauriyamat, before Gurudev came and I had a talk with Gurudev and it was more like uh, I was on a walk with Gurudev in Matra in 99 or 9, 2000, early 2000. I went for a walk and, <laughs> and Prashna was saying, hey, Gurudev, your flies from Delhi have come. <laughs> <laughs> the flies from Delhi have come to see you because we came late night night near Ramchandra Prabhu, right? So we took the train and we were there at like 10. So obviously Gurudev was resting. So in the morning, we went for a morning walk with our like this, like twisted tilaks and everything. <laughs> and Prajna was like, you know, he, to break the ice. Oh, flies from Delhi have come. And then Gurudev said, oh, okay, good that you have come. I said, we are not flies, we are a fan, Gurudev. So I said, oh, okay. So we were just having, having fun conversation with Gurudev. And then Gurudev started walking. And then Gurudev was walking, walking, walking. And he took like 20 steps. And then he turned back. And he turned back and he came back to us with like full force. We were like, because we were, we just, in the, met, in the morning, we met Madha Maharaj and Brajnath Prabhu and the devotees. Me and Ramchand Prabhu were just chattering. We are, we are like chatterbox, you know, you know, Ramchand Prabhu. And we were pretty, pretty much similar in, in that department. So we were just talking to everybody, catching up like Hare Krishna, Hare Bo, oh, how was it? You know, chit chat behind Gurudev. So Gurudev came back seriously to us like this, you know, and he said, soon 
all this that I have tried to establish is going to be lost. All the teachings that I have given, I have compiled, I'm taking is going to be lost. I am here to, I, I said, Gurudev, how can it be lost? I mean, you know, uh, your disciple said, no, like Vishwanath Charti Thakur. When Vishwanath Charti Thakur came, a lot of his knowledge was lost. And after many years, Shila Bhakti Vinod Thakur, that's the glory of Bhakti Vinod Thakur. Bhakti Vinod Thakur came, Bhakti Siddhan Prabhupada came, our Param Guru, especially, he picked up all the libraries of Bhakti Siddhan Prabhupada, not so much as uh, other devotees. Other devotees took the mat, they took disciples, they took positions. Our Param Guru Dev, his speciality is he took all the libraries of Srila Prabhupada. That's what he did. And these libraries means a lot because library means knowledge. And think about like, you know, internet of bhakti. He took it from Srila Prabhupada. Not only that, he also took the knowledge from him. That's why Bhakti Pragyan Kesha Maharaj, our Param Guru, there was very specific in teaching us many different things about Sarup and so many things. So these things are all coming from the teachings of Bhakti Nut Thakur and Shila Bhakti Siddhan Prabhupada. So Gurudev collected that and he's giving us that. So Gurudev said in that moment that all that I've collected, it will be lost. It will be misunderstood by people. It will be changed by people. It will be uh, doctored by people. And a dark period of 100 years will come. Gurudev said that. When the knowledge is going to be, and he said, my disciples are going to do that. My disciples are going to like spread this like mission. Not in that moment, but later on also he said that. It's like this, this is up Siddhanta. They will like, like preach. And I was like shocked. I was like, Gurudev, because this is one of those moments. Gurudev was like, you know, coming through, saying something very strong. He never used to say like this. So I realized like he had this special connection of Vishnu Vishnu Charati Thakur. And, uh, and he's here giving us this special juice, you know, special thing of Shala Vishnu Charati Thakur. That's why if you look at all the books, I mean, if you look at all the books of Gurudev in Hindi translations or anything that he has done, he has maintained or tried to bring the, uh, the, 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 all the commentaries of Vishnu Charati Thakur, the mood of Vishnu Charati Thakur. Because when you go to Sri Jeev Goswami, a lot of people, they try to go to Sri Jeev Goswami directly. There is a, there's a Jiva Institute. There's this, there's that, you know, all respect to those people. They're great. Amazing. Not that they're doing only following of Jeev Goswami. No, I'm not saying that. They're actually doing a great job. But I'm saying like there are a lot of devotees. They go directly to reach to Jeev Goswami. But we have to understand that Jeev Goswami he also spoke about Parikya Bhav. There's a confusion about Parikya Bhav. Similarly, it seems like there is a confusion about Sarup, right? So, so there is confusion about many things that Jeev Goswami has said that we, like it was lost in 100, 200 years. And then Vishwatrati Thakur came and he established those things. He established one after another to the point that they were removing the... Uh, the deity of Radha Rani from Radha Govindji. Can you imagine? They were removing the deity of Radha, Radha Rani from Radha Govindji. Because they said that your Sampradaya is not, uh, is not the correct Sampradaya. You're up Sampradaya. You're not, you're not coming from Madhva. Show us that you're coming from Madhva Chari. Show us that why Radha Rani should be there. Because it seems that you don't have the right, you know, uh, like after Jeev Goswami, whatever, there's a breakage. So Vishwamitra Thakur, he established that. He was very old. So he sent Baldev Vidya Bhushan Prabhu for that. And well, Baldev Vidya Prabhu, Prabhu he, he defeated everything. After that, uh, he established, he, they said, okay, you don't have any uh, commentary on Vedanta Sutra. So then at that time, Baldev Vidya Bhushan Prabhu, by the mercy of Vishwamitra Thakur, wrote uh, in one night, the commentary of Vedanta Sutra called Govinda Bhasya. So he wrote that and established Radharani. So Vishwamitra Thakur had to do that just 200 years back. For 200 years after uh, Jeev Goswami, 200 years before us, you know. And then past 100 years, our Acharyas had to... So after 100 years of Vishwamitra Thakur leaving, our Acharyas coming in, they have been establishing slowly uh, the real factors, the real mood of Rupa Goswami. So our Gurudev is capturing the mood of Rupa Goswami 
capturing the mood of Vishnatriti Thakur, correcting the misconception that are playing around about Jeev Goswami. Because Jeev Goswami is, is Jeev. Without Jeev, there will be no Rupa Goswami. Without Jeeva, uh, I mean, you know, there is when you go to uh, uh, Sanatan Goswami Samadhi, there is a Samadhi next to him. You know, that Samadhi is of his books. These are the books that he wrote, but nobody could transcribe them. Nobody could bring them to the world. So they had to give Samadhi of the book in a Samadhi. <laughs> right? And, but Rupa Goswami's, all his books were not lost. Jeev Goswami wrote them. But now I understand when Gurudev is left after 10 years, after 10 years battling with some people and trying to establish some of the stuff that Gurudev was trying to say and, uh, and establishing those things that Gurudev stood upon, you know, uh, I'm realizing like how easy in 10 years, like some of these teachings are getting lost of Gurudev. So many things, so many symbols. Temples, we have lost temples. We have lost some of his conceptions about how to follow certain titis. We have lost certain conceptions about how to, um, what is the surup of jiva. We have like simple, the things that Guru, they talked a lot about in morning walks. Everybody of his disciples who have, or really disciples of Guru, who actually spend time with them, they get, they get to understand this because these questions are asked multiple times. But now everybody is going into this, Bhakti, which is Gurudev said, what is bhakti? What is Anya Bilashita Shunyam Gyan Karmanarvitam Anukulena Krishna Nushinam Bhakti Ruttama? That is the definition of bhakti. Gurudev always used to ask us. That was something that you had to know on the spot because he'll ask you like that. Anybody, if you're a child or an adult. Gurudev came to establish that pure bhakti. Right? But now that pure bhakti is slowly diminishing, diminishing, diminishing. Because now it is becoming about like, okay, it's like, how can I, I uh, promote myself? How can I say something which will like really look cool in front of these people? How can I do this? Like one thing I saw with Shla Bharati Maharaj, you know, uh, in my journey with like Jamuna getting initiation from him and I was with her and I, some other devotees also, he will not speak anything other than his guru. He said, my guru did not speak this. So I cannot speak this. My Gurudev did not give me this mantra. So I cannot give you this mantra. My Gurudev did. So that's the mood. That's our Gurudev's mood also. Our Gurudev, he was, okay, my Gurudev did this. So I'm going to follow this line. You know, this thin line. I'm going to follow. Because my Gurudev knew who Shila Bhakti Siddhan Prabhupada is. Because he was so close to him. And always, you know, only one person, Bhakti Siddhan Prabhupada said, Tui. Tui means you. Hey, you, you know, everybody else, Bhakti Siddhanta Prabhupada, to all his disciples, he'll do Dhanwad. He'll say, Apni, respectful. Everybody, all his disciples. So, I mean, there was something there. There was some relationship. There was some juice in that relationship. Also, um, another thing that I speak on, uh, on, especially on the disappearance day of Shila, uh, or appearance day of Shila, Bhakti Vidhan Swami Prabhupada, like, how did, like, like, obviously, like, you know, Prabhupada is a Shakta based avatar or whatever he is, like, whoever he is, I don't know who he is. He's this very grand, grand devotee. But also, Gurudev used to tell us that that preaching that he does without any obstacle, because, you know, Yashodananda Prabhu, what is obstacle means in preaching? You have, you may have, you may have seen it. Those people who are preachers, they know what obstacles are. Obstacles comes from our anarthas. They comes from our our, our, our misfortune in life that we have so many obstacles that we can't serve our gurus. But Prabhupada and Param Gurudev and his, in his line, all the devotees, Vaman Maharaj, Gurudev, all their obstacles, it seems like in preaching are completely removed. You can see like when they walk, all the doors are open and they open so many doors around the world that everybody is enchanted by their, by their you know, by their personalities. And their, the mission and the topic that they're giving, right? Somebody like me, I can never become a devotee. There's n not in a, if I show you, take you back to my friends, they will tell you when I grew up as, you know, they will say like, I'm here surprised as a devotee. We don't understand, you know? There are many people like us who became devotees 
because of this mercy, this this you know this special mercy that we got from Shila Gaur Govind Maharaj, Gaur Gaur Kishore Das Babaji Maharaj, that Pujapat Param Guru Param Guru Dev, he took it, that blessing, that Ashirwad. When he went to meet him in the latrine and he saw our Param Guru Dev, he said, "I remove all the obstacles in your line. I remove all the ob." So those obstacles were removed, and all the Bhakti Vedantas. They are preaching around the world. Their glories are really the glories of that blessing. Guru Dev used to say. Guru Dev said, "This is not my blessing. This is not me who is doing preaching. It is that particular blessing that is coming, and kind of like I'm riding that." So Guru Dev was very clear. So, 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 uh, so going back to you know our 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 what Guru Dev's actual mood is. I always feel like Guru Dev has this special, special, special mood with with uh, Vishnu Chhatri Thakur. If we have to understand Guru Dev, we have to understand Vishnu Chhatri Thakur and what Guru Dev is giving him, and uh, and through him what we are receiving. We're kind of like in that line, like you know how in the line of uh, Lalita and Vishaka, we are in the line of Vishaka, and then Rup Manjri, and then through that there's a line that is coming, right? Similarly, in this life, in the life of like. Actual uh, Acharya Lila, Guru Dev is coming under the line of Vishnu Chaitanya Thakur, and anything beyond before that, and through that he is giving us the juice of that special bhakti, prema bhakti, pure bhakti. That is where the pure bhakti is coming from. Everything Hari Nam. I saw Guru Dev chant like when he used to travel, and you must have also seen, you know, sixty four, one twenty eight, you know. One ninety something rounds, three lakh hari nam, even more. Guru Dev used to just chant, 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 always, always chanting. And when he was not traveling, he'll chant his certain fixed round, which would be more than a, a lakh or something. Uh, but then also he will write. He will write at two fifteen or something. He'll wake up and he start writing books. He start. He'll sit down and with his pen, he'll start like correcting, writing. Translating, you know, he translated Jab Jab Dharma from Bengali to Hindi. That was his first major translation. For that, he learned Bengali to please his guru, and that's the first book that came in Hindi in the Western world uh, of that nature, of that caliber. And that book, Guru Dev read like more than hundreds and thousands of times, and always wanted us to read. That's the glory of our Guru Dev, you know, that he'll always like encourage us to read books. He'll tell us like, if you read a book, take the book, put it on your head, put it on your heart, pray to the book. That this is not some some dead like leaves or like you know uh, paper. It's alive. It's more alive than anything. Like water has memory. The paper has memory, and it memories last for a really really long time. So Guru Dev. He's writing. He's writing in Hawaii. He's writing in Houston. So one thing that I saw constantly with Guru Dev, he'll always write. He's always writing. He's always going for a walk. He's always taking care of his body in terms of that morning walk that he'll always do, no matter what. One time I brought, you know, <laughs> Madhuvrat was there. He'll he'll tell you. Not this is German Madhuvrat. So we were in Houston, and I said, Guru Dev, the the Houston uh, airport is very big. The E C D A. Terminals. There's so many terminals there, right? And Guru Dev had to go from E to all the way to C. And I was traveling on another flight that day, so I said, Guru Dev, <coughs> let me get you a wheelchair. Then you don't have to stand. You don't have to do anything. The wheelchair can just go through the whole thing. This is 2008, Houston. And Guru Dev said, Let me walk. Let me walk. I said, But it's a, it's a, it's a close to three mile walk, Guru Dev, inside this airport. He said, Let me walk. Because the day I'll stop walking, I'll leave. You know, I said, okay. I said the day I'll stop walking, that's the day I will leave. I must walk. Guru Dev said that to me. I said, oh, okay. You know, this is like one of those moments where Guru Dev is like very forceful to me. And then he said, <clears throat> I don't want. I mean, I want to go where Puri Maharaj left. But I don't want to go like him. I don't want to stay for a really long time. I don't want my disciples to keep me around for a really long time. Two thousand eight. 
He told me that. I was like, brother, why are you telling me these things? I'm like, Ooh. like you know. So I'm a fly. I'm a matcher, right? Insect. But why are you telling me? So Guru Dev was telling me these kind of things. He'll just tell me things like this, like boom, out of the blue. I was like, okay, you know. Also, like he was not very happy about like you know uh, that everybody was keeping. We need to close. Oh, we need to close. Okay, wow. I just did. I just started. All right. On different platform, I'll continue. But uh, next year, when on on Guru Purnima, I'll continue. Um, also, another glory was that Guru Dev will be always in gratitude of everything. Anybody who did anything for him or his guru, even like if you did, it's called Kritad. He was always Kritad, you know, always gratitude, always thankful that yes, my dear daughter, I came to your house and your, and your husband gave me a glass of water and he gave me, he'll remember this even 40 years down the line. Like all those Matravalas, they were like really poor. And Guru, they will invite him. Another thing is that invitation. Anybody who will invite him, they, Guru, they will be there. <laughs> you won't be there. Nobody else is there. Thousands of people, like in Houston, Delhi, like especially in India, like everybody invites everybody. Like, you know, hey, you must come to my house. You must come to my house. You must come to my house, right? So suddenly I have like hundreds of invitations. So, so Guru, they will be invited by so many people in Matra, Vrindavan, Delhi, you know, and also in Houston, especially like, you know, in the Western world, you're still like, okay, I have to invite somebody, I have to do so many things. That's a mindset, right? I have to like, but in India, I just invite. So Gurudev will say, okay, I'll come, I'll come, I'll come. So sometime he'll, he'll remember everything. So one time in Matra, like somebody invited him, everybody forgot. Gurudev said, oh, I'm taking the rickshaw. And he went, took the rickshaw, that cycle rickshaw. I just went on it and went and went to that person's house, you know, and, uh, and opened his, that kid's new office. You know, that's how our Gurudev was. Will never forget, was very uh, grateful, anything you did. And Gurudev said, I will never forget you. You may forget me, I will not forget you. Always said that to me. He thank also you. told me. So, thank you. All right, are we done? Time yeah. is done? Okay. So, all right, so I'll, I'll, I'll wrap up. Just give me a second here. So, all I can say is that, you know, that teachings of Gurudev, the mood of Arjuna Gurudev is very unique around Braj, around all over the world. It, it is like, it's like, it's like, you know, when you go deeper and deeper, deeper and deeper into Gurudev's teachings and Gurudev's mood and you start to see him closer and closer, the sweetness just keeps on increasing. Like all the, all, it's like just like the multi, multi layers of sweetness that's there. And, and that sweetness He's showing us that the sweetness is what attracts Krishna. He's saying, bring that into your life. And the only way that will come into your life is by chanting Harinam. There's no other way. There is no other way. This that's Harinam is the most. And then Gurudev said, listen to Harikatha and read books. These are the things most important. And do Tulsi Puja. He said, temples, uh, deities, they will be lost. Temples will be lost. Your positions will be lost. Everything will be lost, but your Kanti Mala, your Mala of chanting, your Harinam, your deities. In fact, Gurudev, for that reason, he gave us Seva Kunj. You have to understand. Because he knew deities are going to be lost, are things, and we are not qualified, he gave us Seva Kunj. So he gave us everything in that. He gave himself in that, he gave everything. So, uh, what was that word you used? You said temples will be lost, deities will be lost, and it, it sounded like opposition will be lost, but it's, I couldn't hear you. So I uh, know. So basically, uh, deities are positions. Our positions, positions, oh, positions people's are positions. Oh, okay. You know, the people they're trying so hard for positions. Yeah, yeah. You know, and um, anyway, thanks a lot. You know, Ishwarananda Prabhu. Uh, I really no, appreciate beautiful. everything. I hope I didn't say anything that you know was uh, out of line. But I'm you grateful for this opportunity. You were close at times, but you got you were on the right side of the envelope. <laughs> <laughs> Just perfect, you're actually perfect. Actually, well, your your uh, sharing reminded me of a, of an experience I had with Gurudev, where I was I was um, I was at Mr. Somnath's house having dinner with his wife and uh -huh. his daughter, mm -hmm. and uh, the daughter's telling me how she's at university. No, she's studying very hard, and that she's always looking at this thing that Gurudev gave her. It was like a, a toy, and I I just had an instinct. I said, "Can you go and get the toy?" So she brings the toy. And the story is that um, 
Gurudev, uh, when she, she must have been about one years old, apparently, Gurudev came to my shop oh. in England and we uh -huh. gave him a teddy bear. And that teddy bear went back, he, he thought, wow, you know, because like it was about 5,000 rupees, which for a teddy bear is inconceivable in 1996 India. You know, you didn't buy teddy bears in 1996. India was a different place. So he was in my shop in England. He brought the teddy bear back to Vrindavan. And then I think three times he asked Madhav Maharaj to pack it. I, I think, you know, I don't think Madhav Maharaj quite uh, appreciated the importance of the bear because he wanted to give it to the girl. So on the fourth occasion, he packed it himself and he gave her, and she was obviously told about it when she was one years old, and she had this teddy bear all the time that she grew up. So it's because you were saying how Gurudev was so sweet and remembered the smallest thing. And it was like just amazing to be at a, at a conversation where almost that sweetness that he exhibited by all his writings, like you could almost link Gurudev's desire to <coughs> bring all the teachings and mood of Vishnu Chakravarti Thakur is also permeating through all of his behavior down to the smallest detail, like getting a teddy bear to a little girl who then tells me when she's 18, 19, about this bear that makes me feel close to my Gurudev because I knew nothing about what had happened. I mean, it just flowed through what Gurudev did, this sweetness. I really feel like you captured that in your presentation and that I love what you said about the relationship with Prabhupada because in the same way that he said to you, well, Prabhupada, Prabhupada is my Shiksha Guru and, and therefore, you know, he's your Param Gurudev. I remember when I was in America in that first year in 96, I didn't know anything at all. I mean, I hardly knew what the Maha Mantra was. Um, and I just knew that the honor he gave to Prabhupada was extraordinary. And that consistency, that flow, that whatever's going on in Vaishnavism, I really, I didn't realize you were such an expert on the history of the Vaishnavism and you really painted a very interesting contextual <laughs> picture is that Gurudev, Gurudev somehow through all the rivulets and all the, and all the um, uh, streams that go off the great river of Prane that's going to the ocean of, of Krishna Bhakti, somehow Gurudev has been able to um, inculcate that in his writings and teachings so that we're back into the full flow, the full torrent of Prane through reconciling Jiva Goswami with Vishwanath Thakur Thakur, with Bhakti Thakur, all the way through to the uh, teachings today. And I had one question for you. Um, you said about all the teachings would be lost, um, but I'm observing two things going on. I'm observing it going in two directions. There is definitely Appa Siddhanta out there. We don't need to go through the, into the details of that, but there's stuff going on that's a bit off river, should we say, but there seems to be also an intensification at the same time, and his books are permeating the collapsing walls of ISKCON as well, or should we say not collapsing, but the walls are becoming more transparent all the time. So do you see both of that going on or um, are you more, is your view more binary than that? So yeah, so, so those people who are reading Gurudev's books, they're going to these uh, personalities who are, who are kind of like, like, the thing is that there is a subtle thing that Gurudev was giving, a very subtle thing. Oh, one thing I wanted to add one more, Bhakti Kamal Govind Maharaj said to me when I gave him a ride one time and I taught, spent some time with him, he said, your guru has one more speciality. He said his hand. His hand moves and gives you indication of what's going on. And he told me about his relationship with Srila Janardhan Maharaj, you know, and that's where Gurudev is also getting his lot of his knowledge from. Yeah, I forgot yeah. to say that, you know. Yeah. So the thing is that it's a, it's a warning. It's also a blessing. Sometimes when Guru is giving warning and he's, he also blesses and right. empowers certain people that they will, no matter what will happen, you know, they will continue with the mission, you know. So, and they will continue with the teachings. It's, 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 it is that simple. But when he that's said... You mean, that when you said that, that's what it made me feel like, okay, we've got we to make sure that doesn't happen. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> that's what it is. I mean, you know how many friends I've lost because of like, and so many like people I know that who have stood on the side of like this, sometimes Siddhanta, Tat Siddhanta of Gurudev. How many people we have lost? Sometimes we, we feel like we are like alone, right? Yeah. Hello, you know? So... So yeah, so 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 like this, you know. So because I mean, it's a, it's a high school mentality sometimes, you know. So there are popular kids who are like following like this, like up Siddhanta, this whole thing about like, oh, you know, I have my new like guru or my new follower that I'm following, a new because it's like this, you know. What lot of lot of what's going on right now is like people are like you know pretend play, like somebody like who's four year old 
right? Pretending a small baby is pretending that I'm pregnant, right? Or I'm getting married. These are pretend plays. So there is a lot of pretend play going on, like, oh, this guy's Acharya, this guy's Sadhguru, this guy's this, right? And there's so many followers, and there's like all this noise, right? And then Gurudev's teachings are there. Those things, the books are there. The books are there. But how many people really read the books? Yeah. Not everybody reads the book. And you can read the book, but unless and until you read it under the guidance of somebody, you can oh. still misunderstand something. But at the same time, you're also, I'll go back, also, he's empowering some devotees in that side also, in his con also. Like that was his purpose. Guru, the purpose is not for this to get lost. He's empowering those people to learn. Who knows? He's coming in dreams of people. Yeah. There are many people in his con I know. They come to me. Your Guru Maharaj came in my dream. And he told me to read this book. Your Guru Maharaj came and he said, he's still coming to the right people who are still searching. He's coming in their dream you know, and guiding them. So Guru is guiding. Some people are going to continue on that path. Some people are, some, something will be lost. Um, but but I'm sure. Before we, before we close up, one thing I wanted to mention, because I think you said it very well, but I'd like to add to it. You said, when we get these books, their personalities, we put it on our head and our heart. And yeah. there's one paper, and it's pretty sure it came from Gurudev, where he said, because Shamarani distributed it, that when we read a book, whoever that book is originally by, we hmm. should go like Gurudev often was obviously he was translating a lot of books. We should go say to the banks, the Yamuna or the Ganges or wherever, or somewhere in Braj or somewhere in Navri, and we should in meditation sit at the feet of the author and take the book from that author. When we do that, we're getting the maximum transfer from, from the book. Totally. I totally agree. And one last thing I'll say, and I'll finish at that. One time one devotee came to from Vrindavan to Gurudev in Hawaii, right? And, and this person, I won't say the gender, this person said, oh, Gurudev, what are you doing outside of Vrindavan? I can't leave Vrindavan for a moment. And Gurudev said, what Vrindavan? What leaving Vrindavan? He said, no, no, but it's the person kept on repeating two, three times. And Gurudev said, listen, Vrindavan is here. I see, you, there's Radha Krishna, don't you see them? Right? There's Radha Krishna there. So adding to that, I'll say, Vrindavan is everywhere. Jamuna is everywhere. You know, Shila Bharati Maharaj used to say, he told my wife, you know, that if you do like this, this is Ganga, you know, <laughs> and then you'll be purified. So Ganga is here. Ganga is everywhere, right? So, so one thing is there that you, like you said, sit down in your mind at the feet of these authors and take it and, and, and accept the mercy of that book. And, and thank you for doing what you're doing. I'm really uh, grateful for getting this opportunity. You, you are... Uh, you know, my elder brother in Bhakti. So, so I'm grateful to be able to come here at your, you know, at your feet and speak something like uh, as I'll, younger I'll brother. You. Pankaj, I'll see you in England shortly, yeah? I will, I will be there, yeah. I'm, I'm getting my passport soon. So, yeah, You're thank fine. you. And we've got you on the Rupa Goswami Tirubhav, so I'll see you in a few days. Yes, sir. Thank All you right. so, that so much. That was, okay. I feel like okay. we went at 108 miles now and that's wonderful. I always feel like, <laughs> I always feel like I, you're 108 miles an hour with you, Bangaj. It's great. <laughs> um, okay. I think we have some kirtan from our dear Nalini to close out with. And um, thank you, Pankaj. Yeah, I'm here again. Here you are. You haven't moved, <laughs> Nalini. You've still got the blue behind you. <laughs> okay. Um, sorry, I just lost my song, so I'm trying to find it. Um, that sounds like a title for a book, Nalini. <laughs> okay. Maybe you could, yeah. Maybe you could write a book on that. Did the, pe did the peacock know. find you? The peacock. <laughs> I see the message saying the peacock was sending a message to the Chataka bird. Yeah. <laughs> for, the, for the singing for the kirtan. Um. Okay, I found it. I think uh, she Radha. Yes. Um, hundred and twenty. She Radha. She Radha Krishna Pada Kamale Mana. By Bhaktivana Thakur. Um, just bear with me one second. Oh, fell off. There we go.
Okay, there we go. Yeah. So Sri Radha Krishna Padakamale Mana, page 120 uh, in our songbook. Shri Radha Krishna Padakamale Mana Ke Mane Love Chara Mashara Shri Radha Krishna Padaka Male Mana Ke Mane Love Shiradina Goria Ocharano Asha Ache Hevosia He Adhamadasa He Radhe Krishna Chandra Bhaka Bye. 
Dandava Prams. Dandava Sri. See you for well, see you for Rupka Swami's Tirabhav and then uh yes, and then uh week forty six next week. Hari Bo Madhavat Dandavat. Hari Bo Taruni. Sham, thank you for the recording and everything. Hari Bo and Damayanti for arranging a couple of the speakers and translating. And also thanks to Chandra Muki because she um she arranges she arranged uh, arranged our speaker from Australia today. Hari Bo.